Hello, everyone, and welcome to Anaria the Shattered Realm, episode 34. Yes! yes! I got it right. It's right here on my screen. I don't know why I didn't look at it. Welcome back, everybody. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, good, good. good. See, Corey? Look, 34. Uh -huh, yep. uh, everybody. We, we all got 34. I'm just proud of you all for taking notes. Here's an inspiration, oh, Don. There you go. Thank you. I mean, that's the only note you're going to take tonight is the session <laughs> number, but that's okay. Um, the, my first bullet point will be stuff happened. Yep. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us this evening. We are back and ready for more action. Mm. Or, or not tonight, depending on how things go. <laughs> Who knows? A love triangle between Fred, the guy I can't remember, Liam, and the uh, Drake Griffin thingy. The Griffin. <laughs> yeah, Scracklebeak. It's, it's a Thunderbird. The, the Thunderbird, yeah. Thunderbird. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. They will have to fight over you. No. Sweet. But before we begin tonight. I've never had anyone fight over me. <laughs> Especially not a, a jacked barbarian mm -hmm. and a giant bird that spews lightning. Yeah, I'm here yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, before we begin, please Write don't forget to draw. Don't forget to like, barbarian. comment, subscribe, toll the dead. Like that. <laughs> Uh, and thank you to Sirenscape who provided that sound effect and other great sound effects for our games as usual. Not sponsored, but we do love them. We'll get through that one fast. Mm. And I didn't forget it. You always forget it. Exactly. So I'm proud of you. And don't forget to join us on Twitch or YouTube on Fridays or Saturdays sometimes yes. uh, where we play games or we paint or we do art. It, it kind of depends on our mood. Who yeah, knows? Coming out. This, this Friday, Tori's going to play Baldur's Gate 3 with us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You, I really would, okay. but I'm going to be at you, a at performance. The, you need to look up the song Down by the River, at least, from Baldur's Gate. Okay. We'll oh, get you yeah. to do a cover of that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Um, and then we have a Patreon where you can see that cover when it eventually comes out and other great videos. Scott and I have been doing a, a playthrough of mm -hmm. Baldur's Gate, and most of that's going to be released on Patreon, so don't. Miss out on that. You get early slide. access to all of our videos, including our uh, episodes, three days early, I believe. Yeah, three days early. You have a private Discord with us. Yeah. We're very active there. Mm -hmm. Very active. Yeah. Yeah. And then other things. And other things. I've got I've got some ideas now that I'm kind of like reorganizing. A my third life. thing. Yeah, I've yeah. got some I've got some fun stuff in the works. So be sure to join the Patreon so you can see that early. Or every little at bit all. helps. Thank yeah. you very much. Mm -hmm. And I think much love. I think that's it. I got everything right. Usually, this is where we would so. say Sirenscape, but I think I'm. I think I did it. Okay, go me. All right, let's go ahead and begin tonight with a little bit of a recap. Uh, the party, Fred, Bolt, Bing. Yep, there you go. There's the recap. I don't need to do it. Apparently, Scott's got it in that <laughs> card right there. Um, but Fred, Bolt, and Victor. Time. Uh, hopped aboard the Wayward Wanderer and made their way first to Shahar Patal, where they took a tour of a haunted geyser that actually turned out to be haunted and grabbed an elemental gem from the bottom of said geyser. Do yeah. you remember what you named the uh, the elemental gem, I by the way? I certainly did. Oogly Boogly, the That's powerful right. water <laughs> elemental. <laughs> it got a name before you did, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the party continued on after that, kind of making their way quickly away from Shahar Patal because the geyser was becoming a little more frequent after their little visit. Oopsies. Yep. Uh, and found themselves in the midst of a storm uh, aboard the Wayward Wanderer, where they met some giant thunderbirds, which are large eagles with crackling feathers. <coughs> and one that looked just like a fourth thunderbird. A fourth thunderbird. Cool. Flying in the air. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I topped these. Thunderbirds were riders, barbarians from the from the nation of Svaldsland. Mm -hmm. uh, their leader, Liam, mm -hmm. uh, who is a chieftain's son, in case anybody forgot, mm -hmm. he leads the clan and they were hunting dragons in the storm while they were on their way to Haatana, much as you were. Uh, they asked to join you and made a deal that if you helped them smuggle themselves into the city uh, so that they, they could procure illicitly, some uh, mana crystals or some of the crystals from Haatana, they give you a portion of them. As yeah, a, it was a horde, right? Yes. Dragon's horde. Well, no, so it wouldn't be a dragon's horde. It would be, uh, they're, they're doing the crystals, but they did say that they could help you like hunt down a dragon and, and take its horde as well, I, I think. Anyway. Uh, We're getting 25% of the mana crystals. Correct. Mm -hmm. Fred also wanted a 
a Thunderbird of her own because mm -hmm. Fred sees something and she wants it. <laughs> That's it's literally so shiny. Yep. She's like Veruca Salt. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but, but her daddy doesn't get her everything she wants. <laughs> but daddy. I want an Oompa Loompa now. <laughs> um, and Liam agreed to start trying to teach you to see if you would be compatible with uh, Thunderbird riding. And as well, he showed an interest in um, engaging in courtship mm -hmm. with you. Um, which you had never done before. Mm -mm. And it did not go well the first night, either the riding or the uh, the courtship. But I mean, you're learning. the first okay. time I was in court, it went pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hand it down. Mm -hmm. You need to start I'm, using I'm those. I'm starting Holy a yeah. got like nine I'm of them. Starting Speaking a of hordes. There's, there's a summoning circle. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> Eventually, you're just going to be like, I want to use all of these. <laughs> For a wish spell, yeah. Um, that may, would be ten, ten, I think. For, for probably more no, than that. Yeah. May I ask? Yes. I wrote down Regency of Flame and Dark Scale Union. Yes. What does that mean? So the Regency of Flame and the Dark Scale Union borders Fall's Land. Uh, they Big are the flame. yep. They are the Red oh. and Black Dragon nations, respectively, and they are constantly fighting with the human nation that has no dragon protection. You. Uh, and that is partially why uh, these riders are here trying to get mana crystals because they, they need every chance they, get yep, they need the all the little magic that they can get in order to fight off dragons. Because unfortunately, dragons are pretty hardy creatures. Um, upon arriving back at the ship, Fred uh, went below deck, and Bolt had a little conversation with Liam. Uh, basically giving him the father talk that uh, <laughs> that uh, Fred's absentee father never I should would. have been, I should have, instead of cleaning my shotgun, I should have been uh, cleaning the ship's cannon. Just hand him an empty shell with his name on it. So I'll grab a cannonball and write Liam on it, sit on the top and be like, <laughs> wow. He's got a whole case of these with your name My on. dad never did that. I'm grateful for that. My dad did for my sisters. He did. <laughs> the one kid never came back. Really? <laughs> no, I got scared. My dad more of like would just talk to them like they were best friends. And that would scare me. <laughs> Please take my daughter away from me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we begin tonight pretty much where we left off. It's the next morning. Um, the barbarians are kind of enjoying the galley, eating food and everything. Um, they are going to be remaining on the ship and not flying around for the next three days that it will take you to get to Hatana. You're three days into your journey now. Did any of the Thunderbirds lay any eggs overnight? Hmm. I guess I need to roll a d20 for this, don't I? Because if so, I'm making thunder omelets. <laughs> <laughs> they call them omelets. Well, that is a crit, so yes, there are several uh, large eggs. Yeah. And the whole time I'm like Candle flipping them. them, I'm like... Are they fertilized? <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> it's, it's not that time yet, so it's all right. We do this all the time. As I, and I'm like flipping them. And <laughs> <laughs> they got a little bit of a residual charge in there. I love it. They got a little bit of a kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have thunder omelets for breakfast. Omelets. Omelets. It's spicy. Yep. That's uh, amazing. John Broomman's hair is looking especially perky today. <laughs> yes. They're like... <laughs> yeah. Um, so you got three days. Is there anything specific that you would like to do on your journey? Uh, practice, kind of uh, get an idea of... Victor, we'll get to you in a second as well. I've got something for you and I've got something for Bolt. And then Fred, if you want to have another conversation, you can or... Um, yeah, she'll keep... Like chatting okay. with Liam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll kind of he'll kind of be guiding you on like proper He glances over and I'm angrily whisking. <laughs> he'll he'll <laughs> probably guide you on like uh like saddle control and everything, since you can't they can't actually fly because if we do it's gonna cause the thunderstorm and then that's going to alert everybody to our presence. You know, we don't want that no, early on. So yeah. embarrassing. It really is. <laughs> um, but he does have like he does take one of the saddles off the Thunderbird and kind of rig something up so that you can practice. It's like like riding one of those like mechanical yeah, balls. Yeah. <laughs> Except for he, Liam is the one like doing the pulleys. Yes. <laughs> to make it tilt and twist. The That's birds amazing. just sitting there like, this is humiliating. Like, <laughs> it's actually on the bird. It's, it's, on it's the bird. still on the bird. It's just a bird <laughs> using like ropes on the bird itself. Yes. 
You're doing great, Cracklebeak. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, go ahead and roll me just a general charisma check, would you? General charisma. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be good. Charisma. Say like, charisma. I hope you say like four after this. Like, <laughs> it's, good. it's gonna be it's good. Four. 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 This, oh. That's always no, happens it's for me. good. It is. Drum roll, please, 21. Nice. No. <laughs> Sorry, give me time. Uh, yeah, so despite like the Despite the standoffish nature of the other barbarians in the group, you actually impress them pretty quickly, and hmm. they they take to you like. So, are there five total, like including Liam, or Liam and five others? Uh, there are, I believe there were five including. Yeah, there's five including Liam. Okay. Um, you learn their names if you want them. Yes. Uh, the the women in the group are Yana Bluefeather, and Pur, as in P U R, no double R, the Lightning Rod. That sounds awesome. <laughs> it's not a name she's actually proud of, but it works okay yeah. now. Like, Yana, what was Yana's surname? Uh, she didn't pick it, right? Yeah, she didn't pick it. It just happened. Like, like most call signs, yep. you don't pick them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and then the males in the group are uh, Magar, M-A-G-G-A-R, and his last name is Snaplight. He invented that little wrist thing. That <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> uh, and then Ortal of the Blackened Trees. He's got the flashy the shoes. <laughs> the, as he as he kicks, they, as, they, they yeah. As he like tilts one way or the other, they do the little, <laughs> little yeah. flash. <laughs> yeah, um, and they actually like. They're a rowdy bunch. They definitely they like to solve their problems with physical strength rather than you know using their words, which you know kind of speaks to Fred's. Uh, mm -hmm. Up childhood, yeah, up yeah. That's what the word is. Um, so yeah, you get into plenty of arm wrestles and everything with them, but uh, it. yeah, it's all it's all in good fun. And by the end of it, they're they're pretty much like everybody is really on board with you uh, being a a Thunderbird rider. So yes. we just need to get you the bird. You're now an honorary Thunderbird, <sighs> Fred, the um, honorary. And I'm not going to make you rule for this, but how how do you think your relationship with uh, good old Liam is going? I think Fred is kind of like just trying so hard to act normal, you know, mm -hmm. but also like me because she just she doesn't know how to like be flirty or anything. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so a lot of like the stuff that uh, Liam might be like throwing out in her way kind of goes over her head a yes. little bit. Yeah, like she's not. Mm -hmm. She doesn't get it. Like, like he'll be like, "Oh, come look at this wonderful like cloud formation," and he'll lead you to the bow, and he'll like try and like lift you up onto it, and you'll just get kind of like nervous and like, <laughs> yeah. Are you <laughs> yeah. trying to kill me? Yeah. <laughs> like I can climb. It looks yeah. like a decapitated head. <laughs> I um, suppose from this angle it does. Yes. I was thinking it looked like a bed of uh, roses, though. Oh. Who would make a bed from roses? Somebody who wanted to sleep fancily, I suppose. <laughs> Sounds very thorny and prickly. I guess so. He, this is, this is actually is probably sometimes. the reason why you're you're getting along so well with the other barbarians because they love like Liam, just like swan diving and <gasps> face planting every <gasps> single time that he tries to talk to you. <laughs> uh, Liam is is your name uh, a nickname? Is it short for something like William or Billiam or? Kill him. <laughs> like somebody who kills? No, no, it's just Liam. Oh. Yeah. Uh, technically, Liam Thunderbird, because I'm of the Thunderbird clan, but mm. uh, I do. We just go by Liam. Oh. The the chief's family doesn't really ha get a surname because we're the ones. <laughs> there are no it's all confusing. That's a shame. Yeah. You know, everyone calls me Fred, but my parents named me Winifred. I, that makes a lot more sense. I had thought, um, I mean, no offense, Fred is a, a beautiful name. It's just not one I was expecting from. <sighs> Winifred is a wonderful name. <laughs> and again, like the barbarians. <laughs> Hold on, let me take my foot out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I prefer it. And uh, you said uh, your middle name or your mother's name was Rosaceae? Mm-hmm. That means rose. 
Kind of like the cloud formation, perhaps. Mm, still getting decapitated. <laughs> a bed vibes. made out of your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that now. <laughs> Bolt, that is horrifying. <laughs> Liam, now Scott. what gave you? What it kind of could be you? Bolt. He's probably yeah, like doing I'm his like, best oh, to oh, sabotage. Like, yeah. Oh, that sounds horrible. A bed made out of your mother. <laughs> <laughs> wow. As I'm riding Liam on all of the cannonballs. <laughs> <laughs> Most people only have one cannonball named after them. <laughs> anyway, um, you're doing very well in your uh, training. Thank you. Now, do you have any tips and tricks for actually slaying a dragon? I want to make sure that I do so that I can earn my title. Of course. Um, typically, what you want to do is uh, anytime you can throw magic at them, obviously do. That's why the Thunderbirds are so valuable for the clan is because... Uh, they are magical creatures in themselves um, because their scales are hardened against normal weapons. I'd say if you're going to try and strike at one in uh, close proximity, if you can get it to land long enough to do so, uh, hitting the uh, underbelly, it usually has softer scales on it. Mm -hmm. I'm taking notes. I've learned that if I take notes, I'll remember things. Like right. never say Zolos. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, use magic first. Mm -hmm. um, dragons typically like to uh, stick to the sky, or in their lairs they kind of cling to the ceiling and, and slither around, so you want to make sure that uh, <coughs> you always have an option to uh, strike at them from afar as well. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have any ranged spells. Uh, I guess that's one way of calling it them that. Yeah, I, I, that seems very succinct, Everyone I suppose. Everyone thinks I have fireball, but I don't. <laughs> um, I suppose that it might be a good idea to provide yourself with maybe like a ranged weapon of some sort. Are you good with a bow? No. No? Uh, how about javelins? Mm -hmm. um, throwing knives? <laughs> Just going through every kind of like ranged weapon you can think of. It's what do can you, you use? Can you man a ballista? <laughs> uh, typically, it's not a problem because we also fly, so we can get close to the dragon. Ah. Yes. Um, Let me ask your opinion on something, Liam. Of course. Because the dragons hoard magic here, I'm a little bit worried something might happen to my magic. Do you think that's a possibility? Like um, you're going to lose it permanently? or Yes, it scares me. I would not really know. I mean, I'm not trying to give any ideas. Yeah, of course, to any sort of deities, deities. that may be listening or whatever. <laughs> like, he who shall not be named. <laughs> the DM. Yes. Because it's Fred we're talking about here. Did you hear the real thunder outside just a second ago? Oh, yeah. Cause, <laughs> cause, ooh, he heard us. New God, K-H-O-R dash E. <laughs> Kahori. Kahori. Yes. Kahorin. Um I would I would say just be careful with it. Um, make sure that you're spending time in a city. I'm not I'm sorry, I'm not really familiar with magic. It is a fascinating study. And you said that you, normally where you're from you can cast it whenever. Mm -hmm. Without any sort of like pomp or circumstance or mm -hmm. rune magic or anything like that. I can do it right now, in fact. I would be delighted to see that. Okay. She'll totally like kind of show off a little bit. Okay. You know? mm -hmm. Fireball! <laughs> 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 they all think I have fireball, fireball. But I don't. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> so she'll be like, let's see what she can do. It's, it's major illusion, but it's a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> she'll do. She'll use like some of her, <laughs> like ener psionic energy, and she'll she'll do like a side powered leap, like. <gasps> And then she'll like pick up Liam and like throw him across the boat <laughs> with her with, mind. With her mind. Yeah. Yes. He, and he uh, not gently, just like <laughs> And he does actually like laugh. Uh like <laughs> and then manages to like land perfectly mm -hmm. and hit the bow. He's like, that is incredible. She'll she'll like talk to him mind to mind. It was incredible, wasn't it? You can read my thoughts. I can. Only right well, I can't read your thoughts, but I can talk to you through your mind. Good. I mean... Why? What are you thinking? I was just... Tell me right now. I was Do just it. admiring... I'm, try I'm trying to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just Everybody admiring watching. your eyes. Everybody's watching this conversation. They're like... <laughs> like and he's like... 
Thank you. <laughs> Wait. All, all ten of them, right? Yeah, these yeah. eyes or these ones? Your original pair. Thank you. You're welcome. They are they are very beguiling. Bug eye? No, be- beguiling. <laughs> I can't hear that. Just, but yeah. For some reason, I had a, 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 a urge to you, just laugh, just to cackle. I mean, you probably do see Liam's face drain with a, uh, of a little bit of color. It, it, it means charming, enchanting, you know, um, beguiling, not oh. bug eyeling. Fred's going to walk around now and be like, you're so bug eyeling. <laughs> you are very bug eyed, <laughs> very faceted, <laughs> many facets to you. I love it. Um, so, moving on a little bit as you continue your uh, roundabout flirtations, not flirtations with Liam. Uh, poor, poor boy. Poor, poor little golden retriever boy. <laughs> uh, we're actually going to move over to Victor, who sent a message off to Lyra, I believe, a little bit ago, asking her if she knew some specific information <laughs> And you do get a response back finally. What did you ask? I don't remember. <laughs> I was basically when when the, the, it was during the the whole sex ed with the, uh-huh. the dragon, and and he was just mortified and he's like, "Are you aware that this is a thing? Like this is <laughs> oh, something?" Was, did you use your chalice or was it the ring? Uh, I think. Because you do have a communication. Ring. Yeah, you do have a communication ring. I think we I probably would have sent it through the communication ring yeah. that time, just so that way it was. She could respond. Does that work all the way out here? It has great reception. Who's your provider? Uh, Horizon Mobile. <laughs> uh, Pelor, not Pelor Mobile. Uh. <laughs> I mean, it actually, so, <laughs> side note, yes, this is apparently a very powerful magic ring that can talk across realms. Who knew? Sick. Um, y- your response back from... It's because yeah, it, used, it used to be well, one I realm. Well, to Kilovix, yeah. remember? And so. just because it's separated now, it's still one realm. Yeah. Mm. But teleportation does not work across the planes. <laughs> That's like fair. That, across the realms. We figured that out, too. Yeah. Well, we talked about that. So, um, so your response back is basically, sorry this took so long, I had to rewrite it several times. <laughs> yes, I am very aware of what <laughs> our courtship entails. Are you not... I have since called it off. <laughs> <laughs> Victor, Victor, at this point, will be sitting down and he will be f- f- uh, blushing at this point. And he's like, Of course I knew. They just reminded me and wanted to make sure I was effectively communicating. Ah, yes, Victor. <laughs> uh, so you don't get a reply back from her, but uh, within a couple hours you get a, a different symbol on your ring, which is your mother's symbol. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. And the note says, when you get back to an area, we are going to have a talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, your father is in trouble. Oh no. Like, not, not bad trouble, just usual, I'm mad at him trouble. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you had one job and one <laughs> job. It was only ten when he got exiled. What was I supposed to do? You should be having those conversations. <laughs> All the time. Yes. Uh, Bolt. Hmm. Is, uh, sorry, hold off. Just, wait, would you please? Sure. Stop <laughs> being so pushy. <laughs> I'm writing Corey on this uh, cannonball. K H O R dash E. But is there anything else that Victor would like to do during these three days? Um, I think he would just, you know, hone on his blades. He might spend some time uh, helping um, John Broomman with his katas and just learning more okay. to defend um, himself. Yeah, be, go ahead and give me, give me just kind of a perception check. I want you to kind of take a look at uh, how John has been handling himself. So perception, that is a 19 plus 5. Okay. So that's going to be 24. Yeah. John is seeming surprisingly competent these days. He's only been training in combat for about a week now. But he seems to have a firm grasp on at least quarterstaff combat. Uh, And if you ask him, he just says, well, once I stopped thinking about it as fighting and started thinking about it as cleaning, (laughs) everything just clicked. And I and I and he's and he's saying this as he as all, he's like all the cobwebs around and got swept out of my brain. Yes. Yeah, it always has to be <laughs> yeah. related to yeah. cleaning, right? <laughs> always some some new yeah. So he is he is well on his way to his uh, path as an adventurer now that he's done his one combat and gotten his first level. See? 
That's all you got to do. You just got to get everyone in the town yep. to get that w- And level. then I want you to give me a general charisma check to see how the barbarians react to you. Mm, that one's... I'll take it. And if you, if you really don't try, give yourself di- disadvantage. Like, if you're not really concerned about... Mm, uh, I think he'd be, he'd be interested in, like, you know, making... And are you talking to them about <clears throat> religion? Oh, that's right. That was one thing that you yes. wanted to do. Mostly just educating them on just like don't Everyone touch, don't touch my stuff. <laughs> uh, actually, would you please mo- roll me disadvantage if you do wish to speak to them about uh, knife dancing and the creed? Okay, so the first one was a seven, second one was a sixteen, so that's seven, mm-hmm. and that's charisma persuasion, or um, just charisma. Flat? Just charisma, I think, is okay. what we're doing. And this isn't a a check to like make them do something for you. It's just a check to see how you're getting along. All right, right so now. if it's just flat charisma, that's going to be seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Eight. Eight, okay. Because it's plus seven plus one. Yeah. You are you get to know them a little bit, and they seem, you know, polite, mm-hmm. until you start talking about the creed, and then it seems like they all kind of go stone-faced on you, mm-hmm. and none of them really wish to engage with you for a few hours after you have been proselytizing. Proselytizing? Proselytizing? Proselytizing. 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 Okay, thank you. Wait. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> well, listen, like, Macabre. All, all you really need to know is that the blades are really important to me. Don't touch them. No problems. That's easy. Oh, right. <laughs> sure. Just none of us are interested in this creed of yours. Just so you know. You don't have to be interested in the creed. Just don't touch my stuff. I mean, that's just typical human behavior, I would think. Well... He's not human, though. <laughs> the barbarians are. <laughs> no. And they're racist. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Against dragons. It's a little awkward. <laughs> the Look, we get priests all the time from the theocracy of the Stormborn, and we've all heard the them chanting and... and Telling us to repent and things. So that, that's, apologies. That if, sounds like a cult. I'm not in a cult. Okay, this is this is different. So. I mean, you do have very weird and strict rules about certain things. That typically indicates a cult. Well, if that's the basis, then everything that has laws is a cult. <laughs> kind of, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Anarchy. Yeah. yeah. That's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> They're all going to go rebel when they get home. Um, oh. Bolt. Yes. Now we can get to you. Okay. Thank you for being patient. <laughs> I am nothing if not patient. Yes. Um, so the thing that happens for you is um, probably about a day and a half after meeting up with the barbarians, mm-hmm. you are approached by... Uh, Hafis, the Moai that is aboard the ship. And he's in his um, crystalline form, his little repair drone form that he has. Yeah, and the he, lightning tendril thing yes. or whatever. Yep. Or the energy feet. Yep. And he comes up and he goes, Captain, I have to impress upon you that this is a fine ship. I am incredibly impressed with its maintenance. Thank you. I, I spend uh, most of my time taking care of it. I can tell. There is very little work for me to do around here, repair-wise. I I find happiness in making sure that things are ship-shape. <laughs> of course. I have been familiarizing myself <laughs> with the ship systems and components mm-hmm. since I have had plenty of free time. I was curious about one system that I could not identify, or one piece of one system. If I could show you. Sure. And he leads you down uh, below deck into the um, into the kind of the engine room where you've got the typical like normal drive and then you've got the astral driver kind of set off in the corner. Yeah. And he lead, he takes you up to that and he goes, this component here. And that's Helm's head, right? Or not Helm's head. Uh, uh, no, this is this is the um, this is the one that you specifically <coughs> installed. From, no, no, from it wasn't. Ship, right? Uh, it wasn't from installed. It was. Um, it was already here. It was basically just a because it, this is all part of the harried arrow, right? Like yeah. you didn't. You didn't yeah. install any custom engines or anything like that. Yeah. That would be the other ship that has uh, other stuff on it. Um, this is the device that ties into the main engine and lets you travel the astral plane. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Interesting. Is there a reason for the this piece on the back? And he leads you around to the back, and 
you see something there that you haven't seen before on the machine. Okay. And you've given it a thorough once over dozens of times. You've kind of made sure that it's maintained because it's pretty damn important to get you back home. Yeah. And um, kind of attached to the back of it is this hunk of metal, black metal with uh, dark blue like lightning lines going through it. And he goes, I have been watching this and it seems to be growing. What is this for? Do I reckon I... As a player, I know what it is. Do I as, recognize as it? As Bolt, you, you, you since, recognize since it. Since I was well. infected with it. At, yes, at you some were point. infected with it and you all fought against those things. <sighs> oh, dear. Um, I've ran into this before, actually. Uh, before the ship was the Wayward Wanderer, uh, it was named the Harried Arrow, and it actually kind of crashed into uh, an area next to the town where we were. And. When we went to scout it out, we found that there were some constructs uh, not not dissimilar to my old body that were kind of infected with this. Interesting. And during the course of the fight, uh, we were able to take some of them out, but one of them actually uh, infected me or my other body and it did not appear to be infected right and that's another story there's uh, there's something called alt steel that uh, is kind of a, a formless uh, metal that, that helped with that infection helped stave it off interesting do you have any of this alt steel on you not not on me but on my old body I do <clears throat> Would you mind if I examined it sometime? Oh, I can I can show you. Um, but back to this. And you said that I've never seen this on this particular piece. Nope, this you haven't. New. Yeah, this is new. I'm, 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 within... Yeah, I'm saying that because oh, okay. you, you mentioned that. Yeah. So. I, I would assume that it perhaps grew recently then. Well, if it's... If it's similar to... Something like uh, mold or a fungus. Uh, you know that. I don't know. You might not know, but they can start as very, very small spores or uh, particles of, of it. And then once it's attached to something, it, it feeds and grows, gets bigger. I think I need to. We need to try to remove this before it gets worse. Of course. How big is it? Uh, yeah, it's probably it's probably about like um, softball size. Yeah, softball size. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me an Ar Arcana check. Make sure where your respirator. And yeah. All and the other... like a white mm -hmm. jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. You gotta, gotta full on ET the place. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Twenty one. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So you you go through and you kind of go through every piece of the astral driver, just kind of seeing uh, what like what it's touching. Unfortunately, it seems to have also filtered inside the astral driver as well. Um, it doesn't appear to be damaging the system. It appears to be just integrating into the device itself. But if you were to remove it it would require you to repair the astral driver with parts that you do not have, nor do you think you can find in uh, Arconus. I've got, got an idea. Hmm. <laughs> <Yes>. Fireball! <laughs> Fred, I need a fireball. Fred, I need your fireball. <laughs> I don't have it! God, I don't have fireball! <laughs> Um, ooh. I've got an idea. Uh, Liam is going to, while you're thinking about your idea, okay. Liam is going to uh, run into the galley and come back with uh, some whiskey and a torch, a lit torch. And he goes, watch. And he takes a drink and he... <laughs> fireball. <laughs> Thank you. I did something right. <laughs> <laughs> He's very happy with himself. <laughs> what is your plan? <laughs> I want to build something as an artificer, okay. seeing as that's what I do. Mm -hmm. It's kind of your thing. Yeah, kind of my thing. Yeah. 
I want to use a container around it. Okay. And fill it with chronal, the, chron- the leftover chronal sand to try to slow oh. its growth. Oh, I see. That's incredible. That's ingenious. Can I? Can I? Yes. Can I do something similar? Uh, to that? Go ahead and give me an Arcana check. What if it speeds it up. With advantage, because uh, Hephaestus, when you tell him your idea, he is assisting you. Okay. They feed off stasis. <laughs> Into me. Yeah. I see. Make sure I don't have anything else I can add to it. So it grows like ten times as big, and then we all just get swallowed alive. Mm-hmm. Yes. It'll be like the uh, Can't wait. the blue goo stuff yeah. from Guardians Two. <laughs> <Yeah. Yes. laughs> from Ego. <laughs> Ego's blue goo. <laughs> that sounds like a restaurant. It does. <laughs> uh, that is a twenty-three. Twenty-three. Uh, yeah, it takes you probably the rest of the three days. John gets a lot of practice at the wheel because you're pretty much working through the night, mm-hmm. uh, getting this containment chamber set up. And yeah, I'll, I'll pull like. I pull like one of the, one of the like a like a glass, almost like a bell jar, and I'll build a build a contraption around the bottom of it to like kind of seal it off mm-hmm. so that so that none of the the sand leaks out. And, yep. and you got like the sand in the bottom, and then you you hit it with a little bit of arcane magic, and it spins the sand up into kind of like a, a spiral, and then everything just kind of freezes. Yeah, and you can still see it like very slowly moving, and. Um, uh, Unfortun- hey, unfortunately, I this is just a stopgap measure. I, I I don't think I will be able to fix this without being able to well take the astral drive out and totally uh, tear it apart. And unfortunately, I do not have the components to fix it oh. here. So we might have to find something or try to create them somehow. Judging by the rate that the sand is moving, you should have a few weeks before it uh, spreads to the edges of the container and starts potentially breaching. That was ingenious to uh, to make it spin counterclockwise, by the way. I would not have thought of that. I don't know. It, did, it felt, felt the right course of action. And it was. So you're good for Woo-hoo. now. <laughs> Very well done. I'm giving you an, an epic die for that, actually. All right. Like that idea. That's, that's delightful. Put now in, uh, in the comments if you thought that was genius. Uh, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I definitely don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hafus, if you wouldn't mind keeping this quiet for now until I can, we can come up with a plan to actually solve this. I don't want to unnecessarily worry. Of course, Bolts. I would be more than happy to keep this between us. It's it's quite disturbing, but we have other things that are pressing at the moment. This will buy us a little bit of time. Quite literally. (laughs) Uh, Is there anything else that you wanted to do uh, on your way, or is this... uh... Uh, So, if that doesn't take the whole time... Like, maybe a day's worth of work. Yeah, I mean, you've got, like, you probably have a little bit of time between things um, as well. Tell me um, what you like to do. I definitely do not attempt to win fair for the Barbarian, because I couldn't care less mm-hmm. or as character. Okay. Uh, but at some point, since they do uh, enjoy strength, shows of strength, at some point during my maintenance, I will, like, walk over to the cannon and, like, and like and like fix some stuff and then like pick it up mm-hmm. nonchalantly because I've got the giant spell yeah. and, you yep. know. and your frame definitely doesn't evoke um, like yeah. the armor makes you look bulkier but you're, mm-hmm. you're like the but I'm squishy yeah your squishy frame doesn't really evoke uh, strength until there's yeah, stress put on it no. <laughs> most people are squishy, squishy all the time <laughs> alright mm. so did you see that Liam do you know something Bolt, he had a different body before. They had a different body before. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, by the way, never say he when you're speaking about Bolt because their pronouns are they. Yeah, that, I, that's what... I frequently yeah. mess that up. I'm sure, like, well, I mean, he does have a little bit of a masculine structure, I suppose, you to him. You just said but... he. <laughs> <laughs> Only uh, because you said it first. Uh, uh, uh. 
Liam's like, I even got it written on my hand. <laughs> I got it written right here. It says right there. <laughs> Anyhow, they had a different body before. Did, do they and still have it? Mm-hmm. It's here. <laughs> when, I mean, do you want to see it? Yeah, I, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll show you. But guess what he could do? They. <laughs> Score one for Liam. This is the new game on the ship is every time you have to like go mark yourself with a point and the lowest points wins by the time you get to your destination. Bolt always wins. <laughs> Anyhow, they mm-hmm. could get super, super, super big. Really? Like how big are we talking here? Their whole body. Yeah, no, I, I figured the whole body, like how how large? <laughs> I just wanted to yeah. <laughs> yes. clarify. <Yep. laughs> Definitely a little colored Liam's cheeks, but yes. <laughs> Pretty big. Oh yeah, Bolt's cheeks. Big. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest cake. <laughs> Mr. Cheeks, if you're there, they cheeks if you're nasty. <laughs> they cheeks. <laughs> oh my goodness. They'd be more like them cheeks. <laughs> them That's cheeks. fair. They're them cheeks, yeah. Um, I don't know what the honor of it would be. If I had to quantify the size, I would say like, what size did you get? Uh, I could get, so huge, huge normally, but I could get up to, mm-hmm. yeah, I have large a, normally, uh, then huge. Oh, right, large. Then huge. Well, they were normally large, but they could get up to huge. So you don't know the exact like measurements or anything. Like well, bigger than this ship. How big are the Thunderbirds or Thunderbolts? Uh, Thunderbirds are probably yes, large creatures. Fred. Your old body, how mm. big could it get? The whole thing. Oh, um, about this big. And I will bonus action to grow big, and then I will cast enlarge <laughs> and get to my full whole <laughs> size. The whole ship says... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you does see, that, you see John, like, grabbing the mass? wheel, holding it. Um, yeah. Yeah, probably. But it's still magic, so... So it's, it's not... It's not, it's not the square cube wall where I'm yeah. going to collapse in on myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's still heavier, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is uh, huge. I, I kind of just like, you know what? Kneel down. Yeah. yeah it's this big. <laughs> I would I would agree. That is huge. You Very impressive, Bolt. Thank you. You would give some, uh, some giants a run for their money. Were there any giants? Have we seen... We've seen... We'll see ogres. In, we fought an ogre. Yeah, you fought troll. an ogre. Um, you fought a troll. There is there was that one undead ghostly giant that you fought in um, the Eternal Vale or the Eternal Gale. I think I think the biggest things we've actually ever come across have probably been a dragon. You hear him up. Well, Bold. no the the Bal- the Balthrout was. Your butt is closing the door on me, move. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Victor. <laughs> 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 the Valthfrouth was pretty large. The the what? Something going on out here? Uh, he, yeah, I'm showing him. He wanted to know how big. I, can get I was to. I was kind of bragging about oh. it. Because <laughs> yeah. it only lasts for like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of both. I thought there was a fight going on or something. I was a little concerned. I mean, if you want there to be, I'd be up for a sparring match. Do it. No, Victor. No. Sparring is non-lethal. Oh, yes. okay. Should we have a reward? But I, but I go, don't be afraid to break a few bones. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not very strong, but I... <laughs> break them with your daggers. I don't oh, care. Okay. <laughs> you can break with the hilt. Like, you know. Friendly sparring match. How about this? If you win... I will listen to your talk about the creed for two hours. <gasps> but if I win... Even I'm like, holy crap. Fred, you'll have <laughs> dinner with me in my cabin alone? And the other barbarians are like, your cabin, we are all sharing. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. But should we do it in my cabin instead? Yes, that would be fine as well. Just because I know that Yana and Per like to get their beauty vest. Right, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> They're not. <yeah. laughs> if I was to say 
I accept and then try and stealth. Where in the area could I go and hide behind? <laughs> He's like, take off running somewhere. Um, I mean, there's there's, there's probably crates some crates or, up on top deck or the cannons. Oh, that's how it works. Let's see, nine plus my, I think it's 16. Give me a second. Stealth is a 16. Yep. What is that black metal called again? It is called Arcphage. Arcphage. Yep. That is what. Uh, and and Hafus, right? Hafus, yeah. Okay. So here's my question to you Do you want to do just kind of a contest roll or do you want to actually play out a, a sparring combat between the two? We just do a contest roll. That's okay. Fine. Yeah. So go ahead and give me your best uh, skill. Okay. Uh, which I believe you're, you're saying you're going to do stealth. Yeah, I'm basically going to try and attempt to stealth. Um, to give myself advantage, and that then I will spring an attack on him. Okay. So, we're rolling at five, a little bit lower, but 21. 21? He got a 29 on his go. <laughs> so you, you appear behind him, like, full anime style, and... Hello! Like, and he, like, spins and, like, hits you with the butt of his... Yeah. Um, Long spear, I guess they have mm -hmm. probably. Yeah, they're kind of. Yeah, you said it was a spear. Yeah, it was like, like a metal or mm -hmm. um, And kind of like knocks you back towards the edge. Okay. I'll drop my dagger behind him, and as I'm flying backwards, I want to switch places with it. Okay, give me another roll. We'll play. We'll basically do this as um, death saving throw would rules. Would this be first, first sleight of three hand or what failures. would it be? Uh, this would be yeah, sleight of hand probably would work. Okay, here. so 16, 16, 20, 32. 32? Uh, yeah, you disappear, and he just kind of. Nani's. <laughs> Nani. <laughs> uh, and you, yeah, you appear right behind him and you hit him in the back with either the butter if you want to try and cut, or if you want to cut, you can, I suppose. I'll just slap him really hard in the back of that. <laughs> <laughs> and because I have the advantage, do I get a sneak attack on that? Yeah, you're not doing damage. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's um, hard so. to me more than him. <laughs> <laughs> His skin is so hard. Okay. Buns of steel, baby. Uh, he is going to. Him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, years of pain. <laughs> he is. He's basically going to try and swing around and just kind of do a, a sweeping arc at you. Okay. At this point, so. Okay. Do I roll? So a it's whatever you want to try and roll skill wise to get out of the way. I'm gonna just dis use my um, acrobatics. Okay. That's an eight plus sixteen. Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, yeah, you manage to get out of the way and deliver another couple blows. Uh, okay. The other barbarians are kind of jeering at him, and he's like, I've got it, I've got it, I've got like it. Small stuff, like when he swings with his leg or something, I'll like kick his knee a little bit mm -hmm. sideways. Like Not enough to like break anything, but enough to make it uncomfortable and slow him down. Yep. Uh, and then, because you're you're really quick and he's really slow, he's going to try and get in close and grapple you. Okay. So, my strength sucks. <laughs> um... If you want, like I said, if you want to try and use something else, I will can. throw a dagger in the air, let him grapple me, and go, hello, and then I'm going to <laughs> switch places with my dagger again above him and then come down with, like, people's elbow. Okay. Uh, I think deception might work here, deception. or if you want to do okay. another skill that you think might work Natural better. 20. Natural 20. 20. <laughs> 32. Uh, yeah, that beats a 25 for sure. Yeah, he wraps his arms around you and oh, goes, ha, oh, got you. Your breath. Oh, it smells like... Uh, name of, of eggs we had this morning. Thunder omelets. <laughs> smells like thunder omelets. <laughs> and then, <laughs> what? And then there's just a dagger in front Thunderbird of me. Thunderbird butt. <laughs> He's right above me, is it, too? <laughs> and then, yeah, you full on people elbows him right into the deck. Uh, literally face planting in his attempt to uh, to woo Fred again. And I'll just kind of be laying on, on him. Just, <laughs> you give up yet? Deadpool style. And he slaps his hand down, and the, uh, the barbarians jeer at him. And he stands up and kind of shakes his head, as waves his, you know, kind of remusses his hair. And I'll put, reach my hand out to say, you did, you did well. Yeah, he'll do a full on bro handshake on, you know, <laughs> deep on the on the elbow there or on the arm. I'll, I'll lift him up. Okay. Well, I suppose I'll be spending this evening listening to the set, the creed rather than my intended siren. That sounds great. We'll listen to the creed in your quarters. <laughs> That's so mean. They, they, <laughs> her and Yana just go. <laughs> I will actually go. The galley is always open. And let's do the galley. That sounds like right. No, no, to the other two. Oh, okay. No, oh, I, yeah. I, I, not to yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, So oh. go, go proselyze in, in private. I've never had one before. Her, Yana. Do you want to have a sleepover? 
And they kind of look at each other, not quite sure what you mean because they're not quite sure what a sleepover is either. Mm -hmm. But they go, okay. yeah, okay. Well, well. I heard about it once. Okay. And it's something that, like, females do together. All right. And you sleep, but, mm -hmm. but you don't sleep. And you stay up all night talking about, like, people that are attractive, I think. And, and, and you, you paint uh, something... Okay. Bodies, probably. Okay. Oh, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, and you have a fight. There's a fight with more paint. <laughs> oh, it's, it know. sounds. It sounds a bed. Great. A bed fight. A bed fight. Yes. <laughs> Do we bring our own beds? Are just beating each other with <laughs> yeah with a oh, long bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're in. Yeah, that sounds yes. great. And by the way, Liam, that was really sweet of you to let Victor win. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, he looked like he, he needed the, uh, you know, he needed the win there. He looks like he's been having a rough time lately. Yes, you, I heard that his, he's betrothed, and that she wrote him something, and then he got in trouble with his mother. I'm not really I, sure I, what I happened. I did no such thing, Red. <laughs> no. Dark blue. That Dark definitely blue, makes yeah. the, the next two hours worth it. Thank you, Fred. Dark blue with the rouge. <laughs> All right, so this final night passes. Today I is I know the day. how to stroke a man's ego. Oh, absolutely, you do. Um, <laughs> Tori does. <laughs> the next morning, you all wake up. Uh, Fred comes out of a room, head to toe dressed in like barbarian war paint. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yes. Like, are there like you know how they like do like the bead like the beads in the hair? Oh type yeah. Thing? But it's on like your eye stalks. It's on both. They, they it's, got, like, like your hair is beaded, like, like full beaded, yeah, and the eye stalks are like bedazzled. <laughs> yeah. Like this. I love like when, I love when they do like bedazzled. Yes. Bedazzled. 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 Yeah. 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 Awesome. Obviously. I like when the barbarian uh, women do the like this the big braid, big oh, the chunky braid, like the horse knot. Yeah. 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 Oh no, it's like a it's a Celtic knot type yeah. braid. Yeah. Celtic braid. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Like if you want, you get the whole. The whole treatment, whole treatment, yeah. Yana and uh, Per are more than happy to like do this, and you do have a a rousing fight. Your your room is trashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the most fun I've had in forever. You know what? I, we're gonna have to do this again. Yes. And we're gonna have to like when we get back, mm -hmm. we're gonna tell everybody about this. This really? is gonna become a re regular ladies' day. Yes. Thing. Yeah. It is now a new holiday in. Yep. <laughs> it's called. It's falls over. It's called land. Slept over. Yeah. <laughs> slept over. Slept yeah. over. I love it. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, for like the next part of this journey, you are decked out in a very, very intricately done war paint. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, if you can let. Uh, oh, oh, it's you, Fred. I was just gonna say, uh, if you guys are hungry, there's food. Do you like my war available. paint? They painted uh, all of me. That is so crazy. I mean, like, the handprint on the face and, like, the whole nine yards. I don't think I could do this myself. <laughs> Unless I had, like, a series of mirrors. That is so cool. You know, by that bolt could probably make some. Hmm. Good idea. War paint? Yes. It's pretty easy. It's just pigment and, and a binder. I was thinking, like, mirrors or something. Oh, we have mirrors on the ship. For the back. <laughs> Fred, Fred is going to steal every mirror and put it in around her room so that she can continue to apply it. What color is the war paint, by the way? Because your skin is kind of a dusky black. Well, what, like, for their clan, do they have, like, colors for their clan? Typically, like, it's like a, a bright blue for, like, Thunderbird, you know, hmm. kind of. That would yeah, work, that I would, would say it's like Ralston. bright blue yeah. and like white. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And you you don't have to have the handprint on no, the face. She's got it. <laughs> Victor, Victor definitely like a bunch of time been joking about that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. She doesn't have it, but then Victor gives her one. Hold on, hold on. It's missing something. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Perfect. Because I was gonna say it could also be like a Thunderbird claw. They go down below yeah. deck and get one of the Thunderbirds like to dip the claw in paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the three. I like the yeah, Thunderbird. Yeah. That would be sweet. Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, write that down. We need a. Those are some of my. Have you ever seen the TikToks painted. of of the the women that do the Viking style? It's so cool. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. No, and they do like, it's like holy crap, that's guys. so cool. <laughs> my favorite one is the. There was one that uh, she Halloween. went from. We're all gonna be Vikings. She went from like her cheeks up. And it was all black, and then she started doing like it was like stars. And I was like, "That's awesome! <laughs> so cool!" That is definitely both Scott's aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> we yes. Space. Yep. And has to listen. Oh yeah. How was the proselytizing? 
Liam looks really tired. <laughs> Listen, like it's, I just need you. I need you and your people to understand this because I don't want to get all blamed and thrown in jail when somebody thinks they can touch my blades and then I cut their fingers off. Because that's uh, it's Victor, logical. I I have to apologize. I don't mean to offend you, but the two hours is up. It was right. up like four hours ago. <laughs> well. Stop talking! <laughs> I appreciate your time. And Let I promise that we will not touch your blades. Perfect, perfect. Oh, 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 oh and here. Uh, and he's going to take his sigil, and he's going to stamp a piece of paper and say, um, you should probably let people know if they see the symbol, they know what it means, yes? Right. And he takes it, and he's, I'm going to go lay down now. All right. See you in the morning. And he kind of he kind of stumbles off. Um, <laughs> no, it is morning. You've been talking to him all night. <laughs> that's when I come out. Yeah. Then uh, that's when like, you Victor, both come out. And Victor, you get extra waffles this morning. Good job. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Liam like stops in his tracks when he sees you, and he, he's just. I didn't think that you could get any more enchanting. And I would love to heap all of the praise about your beauty upon you. But I, I uh, really, uh, yeah, he's like I really, really need to go pass out right now. <laughs> At least a short rest. But you are even more beguiling, and now that you know what that means, hopefully it's a, mm -hmm. it, yeah, you are more beguiling than ever. I just hope it doesn't rub off. I feel like I can't. <laughs> it's like everything you touch. Is yeah, like my chuckles and she says, "War paint doesn't come off for like a month." What? So. Yes. It's like the what are they called the um, the henna tattoo stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All stained. Victor, tell me the truth. Do I look cool? 100%, yes. Bolt, what do you think? I think it looks nice. Thank you. And Liam is... <laughs> 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 passed out at this point. Uh, so the terrain here that you guys have been traveling over has turned from crags and canyons and kind of your typical, you know, mountainy terrain uh, to stepped frigid highlands. I don't know if you've ever seen kind of like Nepal, that kind of area, where it's still a... I mean, not as soon as we started. As soon as we started, yeah. Um, not in person, yeah, of course. I, we'll, we'll get you out there, don't worry. Thanks. <laughs> Support us on Patreon for that exclusive vlog video. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we made it. Now we're getting back on the plane, come back. Yep. Uh, so it's sort of just like these kind of high step areas, and a lot okay. of yaks, that kind of thing. I just Googled step frigid highlands to see if I could find images. Is it? What are you doing, Step Highlands? No, it's it's a I love now Highland <laughs> Scoundrel. Highland Scoundrel. Oh my! Writing down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's in my search parameters forever. But just look up like Nepal landscape. Nepal. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so no. rather than <laughs> rather than steamy romance novels for me. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Mm -hmm, yep. Sorry, I typed steamy romance novel. Mm -hmm, yep. Right that's before weird. it. And yeah. it came up with a bunch of Diablo 4 stuff plus. <laughs> mm, interesting. Um, yeah, are you want. Good thing that I have this cloak. It is. It's uh, pretty. It's a little chilly up here. Not as chilly as. And he points to the, the giant mountain off in the distance. Uh, the Silium Peaks, of course, but. Uh, there, that's where it gets really cold. That's the highest point in all of Arconos, actually. Does it uh, does it stay this climate year round, or is uh, this more of a? This is the summer months. Uh, in winter, it does freeze down here and get a lot of snow. I don't like it here. I want to go back to an area. It's too cold. Is it not cold in an area in any place? No, not really. There are some. There are some high peaks that. Do get a little chilly, but hmm. uh, snow is actually very rare in an area. Really, it is mostly tropical weather. Oh. With some, there is some desert as well. But. How do you live in a place where the air is trying to kill you? <laughs> Typically, you man up. That that is the realm of the air elemental. We don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Not since you <laughs> killed the god. Of the air <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Rip. I mean, he just died. He, he died. We need to kill yeah. him. That. Victor says you did every time. Right, that's true. <laughs> hey, hey, you gotta claim your fame somehow. Like. No one else knows. <laughs> Especially in our <laughs> Uh For the most, <laughs> it's like this most <laughs> maniacal giggle. 
so for the most part, you've been seeing scattered villages and farms, uh, squat yurts that are, are a common sight in the last few days, rather than any sort of like bulky or big buildings. Mm -hmm. It seems to be just kind of more tent cities, that sort of thing. Uh, but now a true city slowly fades into view from the morning fog. Minas Tirith. <laughs> a thick stone wall winds around the city like a snake, accented with purple and white banners, and broken up at intervals by dome-capped towers. A large canyon stretches between the wall and the first buildings, painted with beautiful murals that appear brand new. At its center is an opulent palace with decorative spires capped with large mirrors that catch the sun and angle it down into the canyon below. Hmm. What is the name of this city? This, the... this is Ha'atana. Ha'atana. And this is where we need to take our leave and get below deck. So, right. Um, question, Liam. Yes. You said <coughs> you had a disguise? Yes, if, uh, if we needed to sneak into the city uh, without the birds, yes, we do have disguises for it. And what is that? <laughs> Um, it's kind of just like cloak wear. We we have some clothes from around Haatana, some masks, that Do sort of thing. Do you think... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand out. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> are, are there many drow in Haatana? Covered uh, in no, war paint? No, but I mean, you get all types everywhere. We're not strangers to sticking out in a crowd. I am quite tall. <laughs> yeah. <Touch laughs> <the ice dots. laughs> that's that's fine. If anything, I'll be a distraction for you. Excellent. You could distract anybody. You distract me all the time. Thank you. You are very distracting. Liam <laughs> 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 like gives you a look like come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, they. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. It's like when the little kid's riding across on his bicycle, and then someone throws a stick in the front wheel. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but he goes below deck. Way to a little kid. Because <laughs> it happened to me. <laughs> Experience, I see. Experience, yeah. Uh, but they go below deck, and... Me and my friends didn't do very well. As, so. as, as you kind of, like, marvel at the splendor of everything as you approach, a contingent of wyvern riders take off from one of the towers quickly forming into a V formation and heading directly for you. Uh, there are seven in total, with three breaking off on each side as they approach to flank the ship, while the head of the group flies to the head of the ship, uh, settling down on the bow without any sort of, like, request or anything. A bit rude. Excuse me. Who are you? Uh, the man uh, who jumps down <laughs> wears a heavy studded leather jerkin and a set of thick wool pants accented with light armor. Uh, he pulls the cloth face off of he his pulls mask. His face off. <laughs> no, so his face, his helmet is kind of like uh, one of those kind of helms that reach down, and then it's got like a cloth covering that he attaches on the inside. And he pulls that off, and you're surprised to see that it's actually a human, rather than a dragonborn, which you hmm. kind of were expecting. Does he have icicle boogers? Uh, he does not. <laughs> but he is. He no, is. Uh, for to cover that. Yeah, he is, he is bald, <laughs> and he has a long scar across the uh, horizontally across his face, under, just underneath his eyes. And he kind of, as he kind of steps down, you see that there is a large, like, very heavy-duty bow on his back, and a quiver both on his hip and on either side of the saddle of the wyvern. And he kind of takes a few steps forward and gives a rigid kind of stance, and he goes, which one of you is the captain? That would be me. Greetings. Welcome to Ha'atana. I am Commander Pavel Marsk. Or sorry, Marsk. Pavel Marsk. Ugh, I, I completely screwed that up. Pavel Marsk. It's fine. I also forget my own name occasionally. No. <laughs> Non-Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> um, what it, is your... Is it customary in Ha'atana to board ships without even saying hello? It is not customary in Ha'atana to see a ship at all. I figured that boarding would be more pleasant than me shouting at you from Wyvern back. What, what was your name again? You're giving me Genghis Khan vibes, <laughs> honestly. Pavel Marsk. Pavel Marsk. Wing Commander. And you are a captain of the guard? I, I command, and he kind of gestures to the other Wyverns, uh, um, one of several wings of the Crystal Wing oh. Archers. 
Wings. They have wings here. <laughs> you know of the creed, yes? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Well, I, I am Victor. Uh, we don't have the eight rings. Uh, I have uh, the, the, there are many wings there as well. So we get along, yes? Yes. What? Right. What's your wing? My wing, the onyx wing. Onyx. See, I'm just learning about this. <laughs> Same. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like me too. <laughs> Captain, mm. do you have a, a specific name? Uh, I am Bolt. Bolt. Nice to meet you. This is Fred. Hello. And this is Victor. Nice to meet Pleasure you. Pleasure to meet me, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> I was told to come meet you because we do not have any sort of capacity for flying boats in our city. Do you have a harbor? I mean, that works too. They're like in no. the middle of the main yeah. land, so <laughs> yeah. they just have not quite. Hmm. It's okay. The ship can hover essentially indefinitely if we need it to. Right. I'm supposed to find out why you're here. What business do you have in Haatana? Well, sightseeing, obviously. We've never been here. We're from... You're from that place. Mm -hmm. You're from out of the realm. Yes. You could call us aliens if you wanted. Her logic are, actually I, is... That, that tracks, I suppose. Checks yeah. out, yes. <laughs> I don't know if he, Powell would know what an alien is. We are ambassadors or emissaries of the other, uh, the other realm. Ambassadors, so you're here diplomatically. Yes, you could say that. All right. We are the Wayward Watch. Well, I do apologize for the inconvenience of this, but I do need to inspect your ship. That's okay. Inspect how? Uh, make sure that there is no illicit cargo that you're trying to bring into the city. Seems... Hmm reasonable. Wonderful. Now, we have that, because that spot that we have them hiding in mm -hmm. is... It's a I, smuggler hole. Yeah, yeah, it's a smuggler. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Um, you also do have something from Aldros as well, if you wanted to. You have that letter of recommendation. Oh, and we also have a... Uh, there. Mm -hmm. takes it and opens it up. It and explodes. Cranked. <laughs> 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 uh, Ah, uh, break. break. Here's the real scroll. <laughs> <laughs> it also has glitter on it, but it's just because it's fancy pen work. It's just because there was glitter on the other one, and it gets <laughs> it's it's just, you know I mean, look, about look. glitter. <laughs> you ring out your finger. <laughs> it's the STD um, of the craft. Yes. <laughs> he reads through the scroll work, and his eyes kind of, uh, his eyebrows kind of raise a little bit, and he goes, I'm going to have to send a messenger to see what the proper procedure in this case is. If you don't mind, uh, if my wing guides you to a landing spot just outside the city. Please lead the way. Of course. If you'd like to give us a uh, tour on the way, that'd be great as well. I'd love to meet your wing. I noticed the murals as we were flying in. Right. And he kind of waves his hand and the, the wyverns start like leading into a direction and John starts Let following. me get my cadet to do no, this for you. <laughs> as, actually, he's, delegating. he will, he will uh, and as one passes by, he will kind of like toss the scroll to him and, and shout uh, an order. Be careful. Oh, okay. Don't worry. We, we're we trained. Right, but mistakes can happen. I suppose. Um, this is Ha'atana. Uh, glorious city of crystals and... Welcome to Ha'atana. Pretty much, <laughs> yes. Uh, the murals that you see are painted, hand-painted uh, nearly on the daily, actually. By, really? Yes. Who paints them? Uh, various artists around the city that are hired uh, by the merchants and nobles that exist in, in there and uh, kind of keeps them fresh and makes the city look a little bit more beautiful. So they have hmm. patrons. That's, that's cool. They have patrons of the arts. <laughs> the uh, wall itself has stood for nearly 500 years. Mm, like the Great Wall. I get it now. It is similar to a Great Wall. It's no, it's nowhere near the Caustic Wall, but it's uh, it's a pretty good wall. Mm. Caustic Wall, what, what is that? Again, oh, sorry. we're from? Yes, there. my apologies. <laughs> um, there, is a, there is a far larger wall lengthwise in uh, ah. the, oh, what is, what is it called, Zolvarok? No, that's not what it's called. Zorok. Zorok. <laughs> Zorok, yeah. Outer Zorok. Uh, yeah, it, it basically separates the two sections of Zorok, the, the jungles to the north. Yes. And I'm, act I'm actively like looking at our map mm -hmm. that we were given, or that we Incredible. grabbed. And he actually points you to like, yeah, and it basically is, it is, it does next run to, the next length, to, like, kind of Next like the to Lake Wall. Italy. 
Yes, like Italy. I just realized it looks kind of like a boot, like Italy. <laughs> 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 uh, Italian. At Atal Lapialas. 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 It's. Uh, Son Spieri. Yeah, it's definitely uh, Italian. <laughs> yes, definitely Italian. Lapialas. <laughs> That's exactly where I got it. Silenzio Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's what it means when you translate yes. it. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Satana, Salentio, Bruno. And they, they kind of lead you down to uh, a main gate, just off to the side of a main gate, and, and land the ship. And the, the the wyverns are already kind of like, not roosting, but they're just relaxing down at the bottom there. Um, if yeah, you... I'll go ahead and just set it down. <laughs> so I'd, I guess it doesn't land, because it can't land in anything but water. So Yeah, not really. Because we like, probably don't have landing gear of any sort. Well... You probably do have like some landing gears, actually, because uh, it Victor, has you, landed you go, before. We go turn the crank. Sure. He's tightening it. <laughs> oh, other way! Click. Literally, <laughs> 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 yeah. he goes. Yeah, there. Yeah, it's basically just like yeah, just yeah man, <laughs> manual. Uh, Landing feet, <laughs> feet. It's like Mandalorian. It's literally, yeah, it's, it's yeah. yeah. like wooden legs. wooden legs that come out or something. <laughs> legs. The Baba Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> Except for its regular sized chickens, and it's thousands of them yes. that poke out of the bottom of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's about a half an hour that you guys wait, maybe a little bit more, before uh, the messenger comes hustling back. And he he and uh, Pavel have sort of a small conversation, and he nods and he says, "Apparently, uh, Wayward Watch, you are expected. So I will be taking you directly to." Now, do we know this? You don't. Yeah, you you had no idea. you you were getting a letter of recommendation, but you had no clue that you were being well. Expected. Perhaps word got sent ahead. Yes, and pardon me for asking this, but I'm a bit forgetful. Who's expecting us now? Uh, that would be the Sultana, the ruler of Haatana. The Sultana? Yes. Saltina. Saltine Cracker? No, uh, her Sal name is Varash Kathali. Varash Kathali, mm -hmm. that's what I meant. Uh, not Santana. Varash. No. Okay. Varash what? Oh, uh, I already <laughs> forgot. Varash Kathali. Kathali. V-E-R-A-S-H. V-E-R-A-S-H, yep. K-A-T-H-A-L-I. Yep. Oh, that's right. You've got Hot Donna pulled right. up here. Yeah. 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 But like, you're amazing. How do you know that? <laughs> so she's the Sultana. Yes, she's the Sultana. Oh, I'm sorry. Are those her pronouns? She, no. her? Yes. Because Bolt yes. is yes, they, she, them. her. In case you didn't know. Yes. <laughs> this is Thanks. Bolt. Thanks. Yes. I remember. <laughs> we, we just spoke. Anyway, she's expecting you. Okay. Um, Minor wing wing. <laughs> More like wing ding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So all I'm, right. I'm wing ding. Wing <laughs> oh, hey, uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Nine more, and I get that wish. <laughs> As I'm, if you can't do anything. <laughs> so where where did they have us park? It's just outside the gate. There's like a gate uh, that leads into the city here. Okay. And he he says I will be escorting uh, whichever of you is going. All of you. I think we number of you. Yeah. Sure. Got it. Excellent. Oh, but I'm that not worried about people <laughs> stealing things from the ship. Hmm. John, Perhaps... John's here. Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> he kind of like flips his staff a little bit and slams and he goes, nobody's getting on this ship. John Broomsman. He sounds so confident. Is legitimately my favorite person. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just barely a person now. <laughs> I know. Eh? Mm -hmm. it, he has that new baby spell. <laughs> New baby. <laughs> Fred's just Fred is like, sneaking up on us. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will. We'll make sure that the guards out here keep an eye on the ship as well. Um, the, the ones at the gate here. We appreciate that. Of course. Uh, this way. So, oh, so as we leave the ship, I'm gonna go. Click click. And John's going to walk over and shake a cage with a bird, and it's going to go, chirp, chirp. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I'm glad you had that set up. Yes. <laughs> um, one more thing. Weapons 
will not be allowed in the Sultana's presence. I don't know how you want to handle that from here. If you if you take them, they probably will confiscate them. Hmm. You should probably uh, leave. Some of us are going to have a problem with that. You see, Victor here is in a committed relationship with all of his weapons. It's a religion for him. Right. Oh, is that what it is? Well, if it is if, if it is part of your religion, then uh, I'm sure that the Sultana will have something prepared for you in order to uh, be respectful about it. I appreciate it. Very mm. considerate. And, I mean, so you... You don't really look like you have any weapons. Just the shield. Yes. That should be fine. And it's more defensive You're supposed than to take the staff! <laughs> And he, and he kind of uh, gives friends Freda once over, and all that there is is just the rose on your belt. And he just says, I think we're good then. Do you have a problem then. with me? Just making sure you're not carrying anything dangerous. That's all. Okay. Right, the crown. <laughs> I am a weapon. That's just more unnerving than dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Are the eye socks war painted too? 100%. Okay. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. They've all they've all uh, had their eyelashes done. <laughs> Even though they don't have eyelashes, <laughs> you somehow you glued a bunch on. <laughs> Fred Fred reached across the multiverse and grabbed fake eyelashes <laughs> that she could put on the eyes. Shit. Normally, she has, I, normally she has fourth I get wall them breaking done. powers. Yeah. Uh, eyelash extensions, but yeah. this time we had to do my yeah. Usually it's eye stock extensions. Yes. <laughs> Where they just like yank on. <laughs> yes, my esthetician was unavailable. Right. This Your eye esthetician? Yes, my eye esthetician. So um, Pavel leads you through the gate, which comes out onto a rather large bridge. Okay, that pa spans. pause for a yes. second. Mm -hmm. So this is where Liam and his crew are going to get off, right? Correct. This is this is where they are. This is the place that they're trying to procure the mana crystals okay, from. Okay, now, just to make certain, mm -hmm. there's just the guards at the front of the gate. There's just two guards at the front of the gate, yes. There's not, like, a bunch of wyvern guards. I mean, they're, there. like, you can see guards patrolling the parapets and everything, and the fact that there was a group of seven to meet you might indicate that they have a, a greater presence there. Um... That doesn't seem to be your concern. Correct me if I'm wrong, but was the plan to wait for like cover of darkness yes. type of thing? Okay. Yep. okay. And what time of day is it? It's probably uh it's probably about early morning, maybe just getting to noon, that sort of thing. Okay. So plenty of time. Perfect. You know, I have to look after my my potential love interest. And he looks up to the only other person on the ship, which is John, who gives him a <laughs> <laughs> just he goes, I'm so happy for you. John's like, oh. By the way, he <laughs> smells amazing. I will take your word for it. Have you ever smelled a new baby? Uh, yes, I have, actually. I have babies on the brain. Congrats, by the way. <laughs> yeah, congrats, Bosco. Bosco. Yeah, Bosco. Um, and yes. anyone else that has had a baby in the last week or two. Or when you're watching this. <laughs> yeah. If you're in catching up because two. you're trying to uh, keep the baby, you know, Cool. Just uh, <laughs> I don't have cool. a child. But, hey, <laughs> and I calm, just... calm, calm. We That's have it on. We have it on good authority gosh. that our. <laughs> <laughs> we have it on good authority that our voices are very soothing to young children. So feel free to put it on YouTube and put headphones oh, yes. on and just put all of our yeah. stuff on. We'll sing a lullaby next mm -hmm. time. Yep. Bardic just for little Valkyrie. Just all right. Valkyrie. Um, so anything else you want to do before he leads you in? Yeah, uh, not at all. Okay. Well, I'm excited to to meet this Varash Catholic. Yeah. Uh, the so Sultana, you said, right? Yes, this is Hot Sultana. Tana. The Sultana. Salt Sol on a Saltina. cracker Sultina. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got to stop. I want crackers now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, as, we are ready. As you are led through the large blackwood gate set into the wall, you see a uh, rather large stone bridge spanning across the canyon between the city and the wall. Uh, there is plenty of traffic on the bridge, with large yaks pulling carts filled with jars of spices and heaps of furs. <laughs> that literally make me sneeze. It apparently triggers my allergies. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, but there is enough room that it does not feel crowded. The canyon itself seems to glow below you with kind of a shimmering light. Why does it glow down there? 
That would be the mirrors uh, from the palace. Why are there so many mirrors? Uh, the I'm mirrors. Very interested in mirrors right now, I should tell you. Right. Uh, the mirrors reflect the light down into the canyon so that the people down there can see better during the day. Oh. You simulate sunlight. Nice. Quite ingenious. Yes. Um, they kind of, uh, most of the work is done does by the, the crystals the city in the canyon. Always creep with this? Oh, no, it doesn't. In fact, <laughs> it sounds more like this. Are there mummies here? One time I watched a movie about a mummy, and they were inside the pyramid or something like that, and there were a series of mirrors to is, bring light inside. Is Fraser? Yes. Ooh. Is a movie an arc, uh, uh, an area thing? Mm. Storytellers use uh, ma magic. Moving ma major, pictures. Major image. That's. Yeah, we don't have that here. No. Well, just curious. What the backwater town this is. <laughs> uh, as squares. <laughs> and uh, the fourth wallness is break is wearing up, rubbing off on Victor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, as you approach the uh, other side of the bridge, you do see that on this inside uh, inside sit, uh, part of the city, there are large lifts that kind of ring it. Is it like a canyon like, that's in a big circle? Yeah, it's like a big like canyon, almost like somebody dug out an entire like portion like around. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a giant moat on the Hopefully inside. Hopefully, it never yeah. rains here. It does every now and then, uh, but the people have uh, dug ditches down there. It looks like it snows. Yeah, it does snow as well. Yeah. Hmm. And it kind of like looks over the edge a little bit, and if anybody looks down, you can see that the crystals are kind of like reflecting the light from the mirrors and kind of making... Uh, oh, so it's all full of crystals and mm -hmm. stuff? Yep, there's a bunch of crystals down the canyon wall. Um, so in theory, if you had a powerful enough scorching rate, you'd kill the entire town in one shot. Perhaps. I see what you're saying. And there's, there are Archimedes buildings... style death ray. <laughs> there are buildings down there as well. Like, there looks like there's yeah. a whole other section of the city that's Are there of, any, like... It's a little bit more... In the, there's no, like, murals or paintings on it. Are there any, like, cities along the walls or anything? Like, people, uh, no. like, dug into the walls or anything? Pretty much the wall... It's, like, the wall and there's, like, maybe a foot of... Or, like, or a couple feet, maybe... One square, five feet, we'll say, of uh, uh, ground on the inside before it hits the cliff and it becomes a drop off. Okay. Yeah, it keeps In, the inside city the big wall. Inside the big wall, yeah. But people have set up homes down at the bottom. Of yes. The canyon. Yep. In fact, most of the population does live down in the canyon itself. Uh, a lot of the the merchants, the noble class, uh, live up here in the inner city. Um, this way, and he kind of leads you through the inner city, which is just these winding passages. Again, beautiful painted murals that look like they were literally touched up today. They don't look sun bleached at all. In fact, one of them looks a little bleached and is actively being painted by somebody to make it, like, give it a fresh coat kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, do they paint the same murals on the walls every day, or do they change them up occasionally? Um, it depends on the individual noble. Uh, trends go in and out of style, and so... So, so they all each painted. own a section of the wall. Um... And do the nobles pay for its... So it wouldn't be the wall that's painted in murals. It's actually the buildings on the inner city oh. that are painted. The walls okay. of the inner building. So yeah, the, the nobles that own the building. Yes. Yeah, it's whoever owns the individual building. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like adopt a highway thing. No. Like, it, to like <laughs> take, take ownership of a piece of the wall. <laughs> Not quite. Actually, you know what? That does sound like something that nobles would do in order to make the wall look better. They're trying to all one-up each other. Yeah, without, so there is like there. a really big, long mural that kind of surrounds this wall, which... I mean, this whole thing is probably about a square mile across. It's not a, I mean, it's your standard kind of still medieval. It is still a lot of wall, yes. So there is a lot of work always being done. Pavel, um, I noticed, I couldn't help noticing. I hope this doesn't make you feel uncomfortable, but you are a human. Yes, uh, I am. Um, are there mostly humans here? No, mostly dragonborn, actually. Humans are, uh, I mean, we're not a rare sight, but we're rather uncommon as far as Anywhere in Archon Arconus goes. Were you born here? Yes, I was born in Haatana. Really? Yes. And I, your family hails from Haatana? Yes, uh, and he kind of like looks over and he goes, somewhere around that part of the canyon down there. Hmm. I am the first wing commander uh, of my species, actually. Uh, the first human wing commander. Well, congratulations. It, it's a great honor. Uh, very with, with wyverns. <laughs> yes, correct. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. I, 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 I lost the thread there too, but that's okay. I'm just saying there might be other wing commanders with other flying species. 
I don't know, just hypothetically. Oh, okay. no, I mean, like, specifically in the uh, the Crystal Wing Archers, the, our, our organization. Yeah, I'm the first human commander. Good job. Now, if this is insensitive, I apologize in advance. Are the people that live down in the canyon, are they generally of a, a more poor nature? There is some disparity. Uh, typically, the buildings up here are given to those that can afford them. Obviously, it's a little bit more expensive. A lot of the people down there are your typical miners and laborers. Have you guys ever thought about a rebellion? <laughs> Revolution? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to like fly is that, is that serious? Like a serious yeah, question? Yeah. And you say that you live down there, so you're poor too. Uh, I do He's grow up. commander, though. It's true. I did grow up uh, down in the trenches, yes. Mm. He probably gets paid. Plenty of goal, uh, scale. Mm. Yes. How much is scale worth? <laughs> oh, that's right. We need to discuss how much scale is worth today. <laughs> that's that's why I said that. Scale. Uh, price of gold per pound. Of course, he's got to do some math. Math, 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 math. math, math, math is a math. wonderful thing. So right now, a pound of gold is. I hope it's increased. Uh, currently, the scale value is 447 gold oh, it's per, gone down. per oh, uh, no. coin. I'm going to put that like yeah. 447 scale per gold. Per, per, yeah, per single gold piece. Oh, dear. We bought, we, we went to the exchange place at the wrong moment in time. Um, to answer your question, the, the people of the city love their sultana. Hmm. Is she an elected official? No, she is. Uh, well, I didn't vote for. Well, yes, we're not from there. Oh. Well, yes. I kind of am. <laughs> I've never voted before. <laughs> I was I was born in uh, Alter. Where I come from, Aldous. everyone, if you want to be like in charge, you just kill the next guy and then you become in charge. So I will sense. not say that Hatana has not had any sort of bloody coups or anything in its past. In fact, the uh, Varash family uh, claimed this land 200 years ago from the previous Sultan family uh, in such a manner. So, Victor, it sounds like you know quite a bit about their political structure. If it's a stratocracy, I have a hard time saying that word. Sounds like a murderocracy. Murderocracy. <laughs> no, I it mean, I think. It's at least like at one point it was. <laughs> <laughs> the, the main uh, problem with any sort of political unrest down in the trenches is that Do they need lots of climbing gear? The city <laughs> can be sealed off if the lifts are destroyed or or uh, collapsed. I feel like you should not share that information with outsiders. I mean, if you want to try and collapse all of the lifts, the three of you, I suppose. Well, I don't want to. We, we could. I'm not saying we couldn't. We, you know, we are due to start a rebellion. <laughs> Just kidding. It, it, it's I don't think we ever have. I, I would advise against any such talk around the We're teasing. Uh, we're teasing. My goodness. Yes. Uh, pranked. <laughs> right. Do you know how to prank? I Bolt did not know. Yes. I, I, I have become quite adept at it. <laughs> I can tell. He says, gesturing at the glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I think we're just fixing poor fight. I suppose that... That's the great thing to tell someone that's leading <laughs> us to your <laughs> the, leader. Leader, the leader. Yeah, We just really want to punch someone in the face. <laughs> we have not been around... Do you have anyone named Brander here? <laughs> <laughs> no, we've killed all of our Branders. <laughs> they were more trouble than they yeah, were they worth. Were trouble they than they them first. We magically trebuchet them to space. Uh, so eventually he, you arrive at <laughs> another wall. This one is smaller. That's the inner one. So, yeah. so I'm kind of thinking like... So there's a there's a big wall around the outside, the moat on the inside, leading to the inner city. This feels this feels a little like uh, Attack on Titan, how they have like the walls. Mm -hmm. like a little bit. In. This one just appears to be a palace defense. Okay. okay. Yeah, because this is leading directly to the palace. We're now to the gated community. Yes. If anyone bites their hand, I'm running for my life. Um... <laughs> So the entrance is guarded by a pair of large half dragons with white scales <laughs> and two hulking wingless drakes that lounge on either side. They kind of watch you and perk up as uh, as you get near. Are they guard drakes? Because we ran into mm -hmm. those before. Yeah, these and you have not actually. You're thinking broken spear. Uh, right. You you have not ran into guard drakes before. I don't believe uh, they are in fact guard drakes, but they are like a 
a larger version. Like everything on Arconis, they are a more uh, hulking version. Of yeah, these are like the, they got them from the. Uh, Dire Drake. What do you call it? They, they got it from Zorok. Yeah. It's like a mutated version. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, and the guard like uh, Pavel steps up, speaks with them for a moment, and they the guards just kind of stand off to the side and he motions you through the gate. Greetings to you both. They give you a, a stiff nod. Now, uh again, these are half dragons, not dragonborn. Dragonborn are more like they're closer to humanoid. Half dragons are like Larger and they have more draconic features. Yeah, that sort of thing. So. yeah I remember uh, we ha we killed one in the attic of of uh, yeah. Christers. What's her name? Yeah, yeah Lady, Lady Christers Christers Banner. Banner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the opulent marble palace that you see is even grander when observed on ground level. Beyond the palace wall lay a verdant garden of tropical plants and additional warmth from the reflected light of the mirrors above. Mm -hmm. Beautiful multicolored birds let out beautiful songs. It's like an open greenhouse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you make your way through the gardens, dragonborn and half dragons alike walk through the pathways, uh, dressed in fine clothing and enjoying sweet drinks from pewter goblets served by attentive kobold servants. He goes, as you can see, the grounds here are meticulously maintained uh, by uh, by the staff of the palace. This is a Hatomi Palace, by the way, named after the first Varash uh, Sultan. Hatomi? Mm-hmm. Yes. Which I know kind of sounds like Nakatomi Plaza, but that is just merely coincidence. <laughs> Ooh, do we get to throw Varash Kathali off, <laughs> off the building? <laughs> uh, so he kind of just leads you through the pathways, and at the steps of the palace, you find two figures. One is a large red half-dragon, nearly eight feet tall, with a menacing scowl on her face. She's covered in black half-plate that in itself is covered in runes, and she has a large Zweihander sword strapped to her back and a belt filled with mana crystals ringing her powerful waist. The other is sort of the opposite. She is slightly hunched and her black scales on her arms are marred with bright blue lightning-like trails, almost that kind of like um, tree lightning patterns that you uh, see. Lichtenberg. Lichtenberg, oh, yes. yes. We looked this up one time. Um, that kind of go from her shoulder to her wrist, although you, you assume they go higher if she's wearing kind of a a conservative rope. Yeah, just like a trill. You don't ask if the spots go all the way down. Yes. This is, this is rude. Yep. Mm -hmm. Although Fred will tell you that the, that the war paint is everywhere. <laughs> Every crevice. <laughs> God. <laughs> no, that's a, that's, a, that's a mental image I shouldn't have. Uh, <laughs> that's why we needed three people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was one of the people, so... Yeah. <laughs> you you needed to be there to have it done to you. Yeah, that's yeah. that's. <laughs> Anyone want to have sleep over? Um, she is slightly hunched <laughs> and grab her a bucket of paint. Oh, sorry, I already said she's slightly <laughs> hunched. Uh, her hair tendrils are covered covered in jewelry like ring little ringlets, and her hands she rest. Also half dragon. She is actually a dragonborn. Dragonborn. Yes, she looks to be a dragonborn, and she looks uh, fairly old. She's got kind of uh, that. Which, for Dragonborn, don't they live they, a decent amount? They or live they a like decent normal? amount. Well, I think it's actually pretty much everybody's normalized in 5th edition, so you don't really get too much. Yeah, elves. Yeah, except for elves. Or forks. <laughs> uh, and her hands rest on an opulent cane capped with a crystalline dragon skull. And uh, Pavel steps up and kind of gives them a salute. And the uh, older woman says, Thank you very much, Pavel. For bringing these three to us, I shall take it from here. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Pavel, it was nice to meet you. Please keep an eye on our ship. I will, of course. I know it's not your job, but it would be a personal favor. I will. Thank you. Yes, and thank you so much uh, for for sharing all the secrets of the city with us. I mean, we promise I... not to talk about the rebellion. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Prank, we're joking. <laughs> Pavel turns and just like he'll turn like and just like red. stiffly walks away. <laughs> <laughs> that guy cannot take a joke. Well, he is very uh, strict in his duties. Greetings, Wayward Watch. I am Thava Wastenir. I am the Grand Vizier of Sultana Varashkathi. 
and her eminence is what brought you to the palace today. Waston Beer? Uh, Waston Year. Year. Uh, why, why, or sorry, W-Y-S-T-O-N. Doesn't matter. I'm going to write it out. It sounds. Yeah. So don't forget <laughs> it. But for those of you at home, G-J-I-I-R. Yeah. A G-J? G-J. Yep. Low boy. Which is why it sounds like year, you know. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Uh, the, this uh, lovely woman to my right here is Kadana Zephyrbanner. She is our, the head of our palace guard. And Kadana gives you just so a So what nod. is Kadana, what, sorry? She's a half dragon. Uh, oh, sorry, Zephyr Banner. Technically it's Bonner, B-A-H-N-O-R, <laughs> but I'm just calling it Banner. Okay. Uh, she's the head of the guard. Yes. And then uh, Thava is the Grand Vizier of the Sultana. Hmm. Like a Thava bean. <laughs> and we don't get those out here. Head All right. Now, you have come for a specific purpose. Mm-hmm. And my uh, wonderful, glorious Sultana will... Praise be her name. Praise be her name, yes. Is that what you say? No, but uh, it's it's fine if you want to. Oh, okay. Uh, she will be seeing you uh, in the throne room shortly. Uh, she's very eager to actually meet you. How did you come upon the knowledge that we were headed here? Uh, the Sultana has uh, many ways to divine things. She did see your approach in her visions. Hmm. If you would follow me, and she starts turn, she turns around, and starts walking up the stairs, rather slowly. She's an she's an older dragonborn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Fred, do not attack the guards this time, please. <laughs> I won't. Kadana gives you kind of like an up and down, and, and this was quiet enough that it. Is. But was it? Remember, yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> she will scrutinize you all, and then just kind of like. Get in behind as you start heading up. You, Kadana, you are a very imposing figure. Thank you. I try. But this is successful. <laughs> um, at the top of the stairs, there's actually a cobalt servant waiting there with a really opulent, like, large chest that has, like, a velvet lining. And Thava says, I believe that this is an appropriate vessel for your knives, a master of the eight rings. Thank you. I, I graciously accept, and then he'll ceremoniously. Mm -hmm. And and do she you leave any of them on your body. Yeah, do you leave any of them on your person? Nope, none of them. Okay. Uh, and if they're being, if like I said, if they're if they're being respectful of it, then he's not mm -hmm. going to feel any reservations. They are actually going to give you the full like. Thava is going to give you the full spiel from the eight rings as far as like accepting. Thank you for entrusting us with your blades, blah, blah, blah. You know, basically everything that would normally happen that nobody else has done in the past, right? Like, it's she's, it's actually rather impressive. Pretty good, I have to say. I'm, I'm not surprised they have a wing here. Are you sure? Thaba? Yes. Again, how did you know about Victor's? We, our great Sultana informed us of the proper procedures using mm. her divination. She seems very clairvoyant. She is indeed. It <clears throat> might become her moniker, and she kind of starts leading you into the palace. <laughs> <laughs> so she'd be Verash Kathali, the clairvoyant. The clairvoyant, yes. <laughs> That sounds beautiful! Uh, inside the palace is kind of opulent, like, stone tiling. Um, very good, like, not murals, but uh, what are the tapestries? Tapestries, yes, thank you. Thank you, what you're going uh, for. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful tapestries. There are some like art pieces of previous sultans. Most of them are white half dragons. Um, in fact, all of them are white half dragons. Until Verash, do we know what she is yet? So, uh, yeah, she's actually also. These are oh. all part of the Verash line. So <laughs> okay. you can assume that she's a white dragon as well, was, or white half dragon. Was Afira? She's. Afira is a long dragon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or long dragon, if you want to call it that. Long, you told long me that. I just, yes. I wrote it, never wrote it down. That's right. Okay. The glimmer, no, that's Nyrod. 
Yeah. I remember the name. The gentle. The gentle. That's yes. right. Uh, and so she kind of leads you through the palace. She talks a little bit about the history. Like this is this is something I would actually like. Yeah, would be very fascinating. Mm-hmm. In, in there maybe are some be... buttresses in here as well. So. Yes. Yeah. I'd, I'd be maybe later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm about to ask her to look over our friend. Precious, just like. <laughs> Oh. Um, we had an intervention for a reason. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh, I did. I did write it down. Hey, yeah, you did. Yes. Right. There you go. Yay. No taking. I've, been, I've always been tempted to get one of those pens that have like the six different ink colors and pick colors for yeah. character names, oh. places, and then That's and then smart. I can just be like, then I can just flip through and be like, name, 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 place, you know, yeah. item. Yeah. Smart man. Smart, smart. You are a smart man. Just get a bunch of highlighters and go through and... Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, So she eventually leads you to a large antechamber, and she says, if you wouldn't mind waiting here a few moments, I will announce your arrival and see if she is prepared for you. Of course. And there are a couple more... Thank you for the history lesson. It was very enlightening. It was my pleasure. I do enjoy people coming into the palace and learning new things. If there was uh, some sort of uh, manuscript or book containing your history, I would very much like to acquire it. If there is, if there is time, I might be able to show you the Royal Library if we get approval. And we have many different books in there. Some of them do detail the history of the building of the palace. I'm quite a collector myself. Wonderful. I wouldn't be able uh, to give you any of those books, obviously. I could but... trade. I've got a few... An area in history books. I will with see. Me. I will see what be, can be arranged. Because I do have books. Remember, I stuffed uh, yeah. books into my. Yeah, you uh, did. You stuffed a lot of books from uh, all of Ben's uh, keep. In yeah. There. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she leaves, and you're left with just uh, Kadana and the other two, like, again, rather large looking half dragons. It seems like the Palace Royal Guard have a specific stock, and it is big and imposing. Mm-hmm. Um, and they just kind of wait around. So you guys have a little bit of time if you want to chat. Quietly, or I'm gonna like just kind of slowly wander and see it. I'm sure they have like uh, relics and artifacts on display. Probably not anything like powerful, but they're all like, <laughs> historical. Yeah, especially not in the antechamber. Like you probably it's got a the face like, of a yeah. thousand scream or whatever. Yeah. Thousand whales. <laughs> the ah! the, the ah! face of the whaling war. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there are some very nice vases with very intricate patterns uh, put onto it. There's actually there's actually a scroll in there that has like it has like a, a debate. A full like speech, a debate speech on it, and it's apparently from Shahar Patal. I'm gonna read through, and about halfway through, I'm just like, Wah, ah. <laughs> Victor. That's a very witty line. From yes. The I, I'm a bit worried. What about? About Liam and the others. If she could see that we were coming, could she see that they were in the cargo hold? Was she watching when I was taking a bath earlier? Probably. That voyeur. Do you feel violated? I do. Should we even be talking about it right now? Is she listening to this very conversation? Bolt, what do you think? <laughs> Roll for paranoia. I oh, also that, had that thought. <laughs> not not the voyeur part, but I had a thought about our passengers. Perhaps some... Um, perhaps her divination is not as detailed as it could be. But then how did she know about how to handle Victor's? Perhaps it's something she had to focus on. Maybe she was listening to the whole two hour, four hour, eight <laughs> hour. Taking notes. <laughs> Taking notes, yeah. <laughs> Throughout the whole, whole uh, all the ceremonies and stuff. We should test her somehow to see what she knew or could see. Well, I think, I was just thinking we should just expect that she knows. And well, not I'm necessarily wor- bring I'm it up. I'm worried about Liam. I don't. It's not like I care for him or anything. Baka. I <laughs> you like him. But I want to get one of those Thunderbirds. And he's my only way to get one. Mm, not necessarily. We could go to Svalbard? Svalbard? Svalbard. Svalbard. Yes, and what am I supposed to say? I got your son killed. Can I have one of your birds? No, I'm sure we could find a different tribe that would sell us a bird. They are the only tribe. <laughs> Literally the Thunderbird tribe. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> he is the son of the chief. I'm debating, I'm having an internal debate about, I don't really care, Liam. 
goes away. <laughs> but I don't want to see Fred hurt. Should I go back there? Uh, no. Should I, I warn him? That would probably be more suspicious at Can this you point. tell him mentally? Tell him mentally? <laughs> tell him mentally. Tell him mentally, but yes, tell him mentally. <laughs> Tis a new word. Tell him that, That's a perfect word for it. Tell, tell him. Yep. I think I have to be... I'm sure there's... I, I'm asking because I don't know what the range yeah, is. Yeah, you probably have like a 500 Neither range would bowl. Yeah. I know how far message is, but it has to be line of sight. Um, so. I mean, I've got beep, the beep, ball. Beep, beep, no. Beep, 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 beep. Message doesn't have to be line of sight. Oh, shouts. but it does have a range, though. It has a range, and it, I think like one foot of stone blocks it or yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a 120 foot range. Yeah. One Seven foot of stone, an inch of metal. Down. Yeah. Then she will add three feet of wood. Yeah, you're definitely farther than 120, and there is definitely more than a foot or a, a foot of stone. Uh, Do you mention stone. your chalice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've got the chalice if we need to. Victor, if you. I have to be within 30 feet of them oh. to make the connection, and then I can speak telementally <laughs> <laughs> with each other. Uh, within three miles of each other, but it only lasts for three minutes. Oh, yeah. So That's probably long gone. Victor, well, does, I can Victor does have chalice. his chalice. I could send a message send to a him. message to use the chalice, if you'd like. I think you should. What do you want to say? Um, the... Say this. The saltine this. lady. Saltines? Uh... Barash <laughs> I was just thinking, how is Victor going to <laughs> screw this up? <laughs> yes. This is truly a game of telephone. Yes. Barash Kathali, she has been spying on us with her Spies brain. Spies your brain. I'm worried for you. Worried they see you naked. And... Cracklebeak. And Cracklebeak, naked. Do not leave He's always the naked. boat. <laughs> Don't leave the boat. Naked. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's just naked. Oh, no. we're, we're all wearing clothes still, so I guess we're good. <laughs> hey, that message is sent off. Uh, the chalice doesn't let you get a return message no. or anything. So no, not. it's just a broadcast. And then uh, specifically, it would be I would send it to Liam, not to the whole troop. Okay. Uh, the <laughs> all of Svalbard <laughs> tribe, <laughs> everyone in the whole country's like, what, naked? what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> We've done it before. Uh-huh. I'll get the onky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the uh, the door is open, you. and uh, Thava sticks her head, and she goes, "Her Eminence will see you now." Mm, her Eminence, I like that. I tried different ones just to see which one like really sticks, but she likes the. The variants. Mm, that makes sense. That's uh, also not a bad name. The variants. Her, her variants. The variants. The variants. <laughs> Long live. Just like a b- b- friend here, the the uh, regent of vision, visions, vision, because she has all the eyes, right? I was curious about that. Is that um, common for? Like that? I'm, I'm sorry. Me, yes, yes, it is. She Only can't recently. Die either. Interesting. Yes, I cannot die. I and think I'm. Fava leans in God. and she kind of tilts her head a little bit. She goes, I would like to have a discussion later with you, if you don't mind. Am I in trouble? No. Maybe. Not from me. Okay. But we should talk. I guess, as long as nothing happens to my ship. I, I would not assume that anything would happen to your ship. Good. She uh, waves you through. We would have to have a long talk with Paolo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, She leads you through into the kind of just your standard throne room. It's you know I'm not I'm not gonna say it's anything fancy. There's nothing special going on here. Look at these just run of the mill buttresses. (laughs) Giant dragon skull in the back with a large throne made of of uh, swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, standard stuff. Standard. Standard. Um, The. It's actually a pretty standard throne, and uh, on it sits a dragonborn woman. She is wearing uh, a white very dragon? fine what white dragon, or half half dragon. She's white, a half dragon. Half dragon. Yes, not um, a dragonborn. Not a dragon. Okay. Half dragon. Uh, she's wearing a, a very fine dress. It's got those like uh, the tassel things on the wrist that go to the you know like that leave the little like loop. Right. Yeah, and she's got uh, like golden ringlets all along her arm and on her uh, legs as well. 
And uh, you can see that she's actually wearing a hood that kind of covers over her eyes. So you can just kind of see the snout sticking through. Ooh, you look very menacing with that outfit. I apologize. I did not mean to frighten you. I think she means it as a compliment. Yes, I love it. Well, thank you. Should I do that too? What? First. Your your menacing comes from more eyes. Mine comes from less. Do you like my paint? It is very nice, actually. Thank you. Professionally done. Maybe. <laughs> and you can see that, Whatever like, that off, off to the side of the throat, uh, the throne, there is actually yeah. a rather large basin of water. Just so you know. Um, but that is the only other feature. And she goes, please approach. She slowly leans over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's also her scrying bowl, yeah. but she's like. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather it be like the snake one where like you they pucker the lips and it's just like, you could see the slurping happening. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Thava, Kadana. And they both nod and leave. You can see that there are a couple other like guards in the room as well. Where are our manners? I apologize. Uh, uh, Sultana Varash. Please. Varash is the family name. You may call me Cathali. Cathali. I am Bolt. And this is Fred. And this is Victor. We are... The Wayward Watch. The Wayward Watch. Correct. Yes. Um, um, we... Radiant Majesty, Queen of the Ivory Scales. It is a pleasure to meet you. I always knew he was a sweet talker. <laughs> but to see it professionally. You, you are me. the Red Dawn, are you not? You have heard of me. I, indeed I have. How how much of us do you know? When I heard that there were people from an area, I took a great interest in you. So you saw everything that has happened to us since we've got here. I have not been constantly watching you, if that's what you're afraid of. Nor do I like to pry in on private moments. Oh, God. But I have seen a great deal. How was your journey to Haatana? Mostly uneventful. Some inclement weather, but... Uh, yes, thunderstorms, I believe. Yes. We didn't run into any dragons or anything. That is very good. You should not be running into any dragons here. If there are anything like Nairod the Glimmering, then... You are, are very close to the border with the Silium Peaks, though. I would be very careful. Yes, I have a question for you. Indeed you do. Mm. <laughs> I think it's a bit unnerving how much you know about us. I'm not really familiar with um, the relationship half dragons have with full dragons. It's, you only, like ha them. it's only half of a relationship. Do you hate them? Do you worship them? Do they love you? Do they hate you? Are they your father? It depends on how far you go back and how far, well, what your personal individual experience with the dragon is. I am fond of dragons, but none are my father. My father was a half dragon like me. And white dragons. Yes, the ones who rule the Silium Peaks, you mean? Yes, you alluded that they're quite dangerous. They can be. They can also be talked to. That's a rare opinion that you will see in the Alloy Alliance. What do you mean by talk to? I've talked to dragons too. I mean that you can have civil discussions with them. Most people believe that the white dragons are brutish. And you do not? No. Do you have a loyalty to any white dragons? My loyalty is to the Alloy Alliance. The white dragons tried to invade my home once. And she actually stands up and she says, follow me. That's a very diplomatic answer. Thank you. And she actually leads you around the back of the throne room, and Ooh, more history. <laughs> you can see this, like you can see this, like great curtain mm -hmm. that she she throws back, and it leads to this balcony. And the balcony overlooks um, the back half of the city, and beyond that, you can see just the barest hint of a fortress 
and beyond it, a this we, glacial not... scar on the land that seems okay. to be permanently frozen. We could Nakatomi Tower her right now. <laughs> 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 the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the white you. dragons <laughs> attempted to annex Haatana uh, back before we had joined the Alloy Alliance, and it was only thanks to our allies that we were able to hold them back. I will not say that I have the same strong feelings against the white dragons of the Silian Peaks as my predecessors have. They have been open to negotiations recently with Haatana. And it has led to fruitful endeavors. Well, I, for one, cannot ever say anything bad about peace talks. You are not here just to sightsee. No, we're she actually closes the curtains back up. We're actually hold on, I'm on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the covering of the eyes. You know, I can't yeah. really see much. Um, we're actually looking for someone. The, the last right? The yes. last place she was seen was here. Yes, Afira the Gentle. Yes, I have heard of her tragedy. I thought she tragedy? was dead. But you've not found her body, have you? No, but dragons are known to feast, unfortunately. Well, I have been asked to find proof of her demise or I see her well if you want to start life. searching and she kind of waves a hand uh, back the way you came and she says about two miles back the way you came was where her caravan was attacked um, it looked like there were there was ice magic used during the altercation I could not see anything my sight was clouded from the area during the fight really yes so how does it work my gift. Yes, like, have you tried to look for a Fira since then? No, I haven't. I thought she was dead. Oh, well... Would, would you be willing to? Perhaps. I'd be willing to do a favor if I could get a favor in return. Oh, we love trading favors. Excellent. I knew you would. Please. We also will trade gold as well. If it's... A scale. Oh, right. Scale. Oh, I, I'm... <laughs> I am a sultana. Gold will be acceptable. And she sits down on the throne and kind of like, you get ushered back to the dais, or to the bottom of the steps. And she says, what I propose in trade is simple. There is a group that wishes to do my city harm. And I wish to stop them. You give me the information that I need, and I give you the information that you need. Find this group, take them out, whatever it is that you adventuring types do, and I'd be more than willing to scry for you. Well, assassination does not too bad. Yes. Also, though, we don't know if you have any information to share. And she kind of leans over, and you can see her claws <laughs> kind of, <laughs> I knew you were going to do that, kind of rake through the water, and it kind of ripples a little bit. And she says, there is something there. But it's clouded, though. It would take a lot longer to define it. Perfect timing, Sirenscape. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sirenscape. <laughs> okay. Well, who is it? What do we have to do? There is a... And or what is the price? We said we could do either. Right? I'd prefer the favor. Okay. Well, Bolt is the official face. No, no, I am the official face. But he's the real they. <laughs> they. Just like the, the sheer panic on Fred's face in the middle of the throne room. They are the real leader of the group. I'm the face. Very well. We have We're more of a democracy, but... Uh, Bolt. Mm. I sense that you are a noble sort. You do not wish to see harm done to anyone. Generally correct, yes. We are looking for some barbarians. Okay. They come from a distant land to steal from us. 
and potentially do our people harm in the process. They ride on great beasts that spark lightning. Hmm. Are you sure they wish to do you harm and not big dragons? They wish to do my city harm, which is me. Have you heard of anything? Did you see anything in your thunderstorm that you passed through? I feel like... Mm-hmm. This is not bad right now, but... Brad just feels like she already knows. Mm-hmm. You know? She really doesn't want Cracklebeak to get hurt. Liam can probably take care of himself. Although Victor beat him, so probably not. <laughs> this is internal dialogue? <laughs> yes. Fourth wall dialogue with the GM. Happening in her brain. <laughs> Can she read my thoughts? That's terrifying to think. How do I mean, you guard your mind? This is the one who's probably got the most experience with men- uh, telemental. Telemental. <laughs> telemental. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I wonder what Bolt's going to say. Me too. <laughs> uh, Do you need a week to think about it? <laughs> no. <laughs> so she asked if we had seen mm-hmm. anything? Yep. I did notice that the thunderstorm felt wrong. It wasn't natural. But did you see anything as I've described? I have not. I'm going to mind link. Okay. I just like. What, what, what do we call it? A little chill. Elemental. 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 <laughs> Elemental you. Maybe we should give her just enough information and let her know that we did see the Thunderbirds. What do you think? Answer back to my mind. <clears throat> They're both like. I know you can read my thoughts, boy. Who do it for like my Yeah. Um, I, I think that probably works. We don't have to tell her where Liam is or the others. Yes. As a matter of fact, we did see something. We saw a group of people riding these birds of sorts. Really? Mm-hmm. And which direction did they head? It was very rough weather. I was spending most of the time trying to keep the ship straight. I would ask that you do your best. This is very important. I can't recall. Give me a deception check, okay. I think, at this point. Yep. Uh, I get advantage on it because of my cloud room. You're, Actually, you do not. You are just doing a regular. There is grace. a disadvantage countering you. Oh! Please forgive him. Uh, he is also new to this body, as you may have seen. Um, and they. He's, they they are new to this body, <laughs> and uh, they. Uh, Corey, still, switch us to the uh, battle cam, please. Their mind doesn't. Uh, because. Um, <laughs> can't see it. Come on, focus. Got a natural one. Focus is a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually a zero because I have a negative one in <laughs> deception. <laughs> <Poop>. <laughs> His mind is is addled as of late. Hmm. I am very sorry to hear that you could not recall. But your information does give us a little bit to go off of. Is there anything else that you remember? Any of you? Victor's gonna be. I did my check. I'm done. Writing, <laughs> writing in this in the scroll, of like what, at least what he had heard as far as the uh, contract. I'm gonna before I answer, just yeah. like insight check her. Okay, go ahead and give like, me an insight. Does it seem like she already knows? Yeah, go ahead and give me an insight. Yeah. Bleep, bloop bleep, bloop 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 bloop. Okay. It's also a natural one. <gasps> it's oh not God. meant to be. It is, it is impossible to tell. Oh my gosh. Impossible to tell. 
Okay. Well, I do seem to remember. Um, I believe they were heading somewhat in this general direction. But did you, you did not see them any further on your travels once the oh, storm your eyes cleared? do a squinty like shift left and right. Well, <laughs> That's um, what gives you away. <laughs> uh, also, I need a deception check from you. There. Okay. While I was oh, while I was better. on the watch, yes, much better. I did uh, I did encounter one of them and fought him off. Twenty five. Yeah, give me a deception check there too. With disadvantage or with it? Uh, yeah, sorry, it is with disadvantage okay. for both of you. As well. So that's a nineteen for the first one, and a dirty for the second one. But so I have plus twelve, so dirty twenty. Twenty three, actually, for me. Very well. So she's only thirty three percent positive <laughs> <laughs> that we don't know anything. <laughs> well. It will take me some time to divine what uh, you seek and find Afira's location. If she is still alive, of course. Yes. In the meantime, that. I would like to invite you to stay here. We have a wonderful feast planned tonight that I want you to, I would love you to attend. Victor, I would be honored to see a presentation from the Eight Rings, if you would be willing. Could do your weeping swordsman. Can I go back to the thing to get some of my theatrical supplies? Can you help me with the makeup and things? Oh, yes. All right. Perfect. As you can tell. Of course. I will send servants to assist you with whatever you need to I carry. I would be honored to be able to present um, a story that is dear to my heart and to my people. Excellent. Thank you for this enlightening discussion. And I hope to see you tonight. <laughs> may I may I borrow father's time you wish to see the library I do very much if it, that is okay can we borrow Kadana too because I've never seen anyone pick Bolt up in like a baby carriage kind of way and I think it'd be kind of fun <laughs> her lip kind of quirks a little bit of that but she goes Kadana can show you to the library <gasps> Thava, I believe, wished to speak with Fred. She can show you to your rooms. Bolt's gonna get put or, in the or worst. Because Thava's the... Thava is the one that wanted to speak here. to Fred. All right, right. He's gonna show you okay. to the rooms. Yeah, Kadava's gonna send you, take you to the library. Because okay. that doesn't require her to do anything. Like, it's just she's here. Well yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's literally <laughs> escorting you. That's what she's here for, <laughs> you know. And for beating up people, apparently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so... You're dismissed. Kadava will take you to the library. All the pleasantries of like it was very yeah. nice to meet you. And uh, Thava will take the two of you to a set of rooms, okay. uh, three different rooms, one for each of you. And then she goes, "Do you have a moment to have that discussion?" Mm, I suppose. Excellent. And she kind of motions for you to step into your room. Okay. okay. So uh, she comes in with you, closes the door. And she goes over and she sits down. And she goes, "Do you mind if I have a seat?" Oh no, no problem. Thank you. Uh, I'm not I... used to dealing with elderly, feeble people. <laughs> Honestly, I'm I am barely getting used to being an elderly, feeble person myself. Really? Yes. It sounds terrible. It is. Uh, getting on in years is definitely. It was a sudden curse. I was 23 <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yes. You know, seeing as I am going to live forever, I wonder if I will age. That is what I wish to speak with you about. Okay. I sense something on you. Something that reminds me of me. Not that, although that is concerning in its own right. <laughs> I'm speaking about the being that you made a deal with recently. Within the past couple of years. Yes. How much do you know about it? Mm, I would say nothing. Uh, what did you offer it in exchange for your um, power? What did I offer? I can't remember. Just freedom. They just wanted you to free it. Freedom. I see. So and you offered has... the being freedom? Yeah. Because it, uh, it was trapped in the beacon. Yeah. Little insight there. We essentially do we... offered yeah, each other we... freedom. Yeah. Did we see this creature when mm -hmm. we broke the beacon or whatever? No. Oh, okay. This is prior to uh, our 
assault on. No, this no, is happened this, during. Yeah, this during is during the assault. Yeah. yeah, this is when all of the uh, cells went down. Okay. And it hasn't contacted you since. I mean, I don't think so. Right. It's secretly Liam. From. <laughs> <laughs> Although I've heard that you should never say certain beings' names. That is true. Yes. Saying something too many times will summon it. Really? Yes. Like three times in a row. Pretty much, yes. Like Beetlejuice. Uh huh. Yeah, you don't want to say Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah, you don't want to say Beetlejuice. You don't want to say. No! (laughs) It's just in a row. Yes. And definitely don't look in mirrors while you're saying it either. That's, that's a big note. Oh, oh. Bloody Beetlejuice. <laughs> bloody, <laughs> bloody, 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 Candyman, too. Juice. Sorry, so I'm just, I'm throw just Candyman in there it. somehow, please. And Mary. Yeah, yeah. well, you got the bloody <laughs> Beetlejuice. And then you need to throw Candyman in there, too, because he's also... Awesome. Bloody, bloody Beetle Candy. <laughs> bloody Beetle Candies. It just summons a bunch bloody of candy candies. Juice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's uh, just take it from Boys. an old woman who has had her share of deals in the past that have gone south, okay. similar to yours. I sense the same darkness that once gripped me. What is closing it? Closing in around you. I'm not certain in particular. Do you n- remember anything about it? Mm. Hmm. Not really. I was running away from the beacon because I didn't want to be there with my father anymore and I offered it freedom. And I followed it, and I remember falling into the river, and then I woke up, and I felt a little bit more power. Hmm. But it had no discernible features that you could see. Give me a history check if you want to remember things that uh, the DM might know. I can't remember. (laughs) Um, 19. Uh, You remember a long, lanky shadow. Ooh. Siren yeah. Head. Yeah. There was a Slenderman. long, lanky shadow. The Batman. A shadowy man. The Batman. Figure. Yes. Did it well, look humanoid? Man or woman? Yes. It didn't look like it had tentacles or anything of the sort. I don't think so. Definitely not what I have dealt with then. But well, how I... do I find out? Do you think it could hurt me? Yes. The one that, the one that I, don't you dare, you put that right away. Ew, 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 ew. I hate you so much, I'm going to nightmare tonight. What I want to see it. No, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Turn it around and show Scott, he needs to see it. (laughs) And I guess show the camera too. I will have night terrors. Yeah, that is, uh, that is the worst. I will warn you if you have ever heard of the Momo meme and it terrifies you, look away now. It really does upset mm-hmm. me. Oh, yeah. 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 It, is, yeah. it is absolutely <laughs> awful. It, don't they do that in Beetlejuice? Isn't there it's something like uh, Yeah, they do the, like the, the long the, face the, thing. The, the yeah. one has the eyeballs inside <laughs> yeah. of it. She pulls her eyes out. And but that's done That's done more for comedy, not yeah, horror. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. The being that I made a deal with mm-hmm. controlled me for five years, made me do terrible things. I feel like I'm in control. Now you might. It took years before the thing finally noticed me enough that it used me in that way. What did it have you do? I've killed in its name, tortured, tormented people. I've taken minds apart and put them back together. I've tossed people into realms of unspeakable horrors. And I would have continued to do it if not for these metal my kids. wonderful Sultana. <laughs> yes. <laughs> take your take your dying shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I am not saying this to make you panic. Well, I am trying to give you cause to think a little bit about this deal that you made. You believe that all it did was make you more powerful and immortal. But everything comes with a higher price than they say. Are you sure? I think it was a bit tit for tat. I let it free. It gave me a bit of power. It's nothing extraordinary. It's one level of warlock. (laughs) You let it in. (laughs) It has a foothold into your being now. So how did you get rid of yours? Red. 
the sultana. And and she kind of like takes her hand and as she like waves it, the um the lightning pattern that's on the, the what are they called again? I keep forgetting the lines. The Lichtenberg. The Lichtenberg lines. They start wriggling and like they all they peel up almost like tentacles and before coming back down, she goes, I have not gotten rid of it. I've just learned to contain it and block the being out. Hmm. Well, I do appreciate your words of warning and you've given me a lot to think about. Find out everything you can about this being and how to stop it. I will. You said it was locked up? Yes. Probably for a good reason. Hmm. And then she she kind of gets up and she goes, well, if you'll excuse me, I have to start making my way to the dining hall. Very good. I'll join you shortly. It takes me three hours to get there. Yeah, well, well yeah, dinner, dinner will be in a couple hours. I'm Unless Kidana feels like picking me up. <laughs> Putting her in the Bjorn. Yep. Um, Bjorn have you have a pleasant bolts. day. Enjoy the grounds. There's n- the, Anywhere off limits will be posted with guards and they will let you know. Oh, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, do look into that crown. It's very concerning. <laughs> she like walks out the door of that. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not going anywhere. I quite like you. And they give a little. I, I guess they kind of squeal a little bit. They give a they little. They give like, you Eskimo me. kisses. Yeah. <laughs> this is totally me, like wishing I was Medusa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think with that, Bolt is heading into the library. Mm-hmm. Uh, you two are relaxing or are going to explore the grounds of Haatana, yep. and potentially you have. Uh, you have a an empress, a sultana, breathing down your necks. I think that's where we'll end tonight's episode. I mean, sometimes you'd like that. Yeah, but... <laughs> not this time. Uh, thank you, everybody, f- for joining us. I'm counting the number of episodes that we have not had a combat in, and that makes three, I think, now. Four, maybe. We're not <laughs> Tell Corey. Fight. He's worried about it. Tell him that <laughs> yeah. you like these episodes. I, I promise combat By is coming. liking, commenting, and subscribing. Exactly. And uh, dinging the bell, which I don't have up. You can ring the uh, Gull's copy doesn't work. <laughs> oh, we got the cow back, though. There we go. Thank you, Sirenscape. Uh, don't forget to join our Patreon. Join us on Twitch. And have a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. See you in your dreams. You! <laughs> <laughs> He's coming for you. Bye.